Right, good day everyone, welcome back to another live watch along on the channel. Here for an absolute beauty between Collingwood and Sydney. Oh, I'm keen for this matchup for sure. It's two 
Good looking sides, of course, heading into 2024. Going to be having a solid hit out this Friday night. Collingwood, reigning premiers, their first game at the G ever since that famous, famous 16th premiership day back in September. What a grand final that was in the end. Uh, and from a Swans perspective, well, they haven't won at the G since the 2022 grand final. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, the, the demons. The demons are just getting up into our heads, aren't they? Um, but it's going to be a great test tonight for our boys um, against a, a still a strong outfit for sure. I know they were disappointing last week, but, you know, back at home with the flag unfurling uh, not so long ago and a big crowd. I expect them to play much better. They were very inaccurate and sloppy last week, um, but if they really get going with their ball movement, they are a scary team for sure. Um, but I'm really excited. This is a massive test for, for our Swannies. Um, to really try and um, hit him while they're down from that poor performance last week. Try and win that midfield battle. Defend well as a back six. Um, that was something we did very well last week. And just really use the width of the G to our advantage with our ball movement. Because um, it was it was some good stuff to watch last week. Uh, but hopefully everybody's going well. Hopefully everyone's week's going well so far. Nothing better than a bit of Friday night footy. Um, obviously, last night's game was a bit scrappy, but still, I thought it was a good game to watch. It was intense. Like, the intensity was very high from both sides. So, do we get more of a cleaner and a more efficient game tonight? Perhaps. Um, I think, you know, for either side, they probably maybe need to kick 100 points to win this game. It's probably maybe one of those matchups. <coughs> but yeah, hopefully, everyone's going well in chat. Who we got in here today? We've got A for Legend of the Go Well, mate. Dark Horse, Cappy, L, Theo. Dutch, Cow, KK, um, Avocado, NFS, Ethan Kelly, UCAT. Hope everyone's going well. Um, but I have decided to go with the, the more civil tip of Collingwood with this one. Um, just expecting the bounce back. But I'm still very, very open that we can steal this one. So, yeah, I'm going in terms of tipping up with a safe one. Um, it's a win win situation because you lose a game, you know, your favourite team loses, but then you tipped. The other team's like, okay, at least I got the tip right, so, you know. It's not really a win-win, but, you know, it's a little, it's it's like a, you know, a consolation prize, really, for losing. Uh, I think Collingwood wins this by 20 more points. Swan had a good uh, win last week, but Collie Wobbles be too good. Yeah, there could be definitely a chance where they beat us well. Look, I'm still not 100% confident on us to, you know, be a top team this year for sure. Um, look, that first half against Melbourne... Uh, we were getting smacked around the footing. We're just able to turn things around and playing better to the conditions. So it's only a week of data. It's only it's only one week. Uh, you can't really make the judgments on only one week of football. And I guess that's same from Collingwood's perspective too. <clears throat> Do you actually win money with the tips or is gambling? No, nah, tipping's just like pick pick who who you who you think will win. Um, obviously, there's tipping competitions you can do and um, with mates and everything and. Uh, the winner, you know, gets money and all that. So, there's that too. <clears throat> Sydney Swans are Sydney Sweeney. Hey, I'll be honest with you. Before the Swan, before Sydney Sweeney came to the Swans game against Hawthorne back around too, I don't even know who she was. That's like how out of depth and, you know, how clueless I am with today's pop culture. So I'm like, who the hell is this lady all over the social media? And apparently she's some famous actor that I never heard of. Um, but Swanee's till I die, mate. For sure. Yeah, they definitely did Dutch. That's why I'm, you know, confident for this game. If we can somewhat replicate that and get on top of the midfield, well, I think we're a good chance to maybe steal this one. Um, I think we'll get top eight this year. Um, and can you say... Yeah, I agree. I think we'll be top eight as well. Uh, probably... For us, probably, I'd say the 4 to 10 range. There is a chance we could miss out on the 8. Um, but yeah, probably around that range. <clears throat> anyway, I have a look at the, the lineups for sure before we head into this one. So it's unchanged from our, our end of things. Uh, Sam Wicks keeps his spot as the sub. Which, before last week, I was a bit like, uh, Wicks is the sub, I think he should be starting. But him as like a genuine tactical sub was excellent last week. Amadi was poor in the conditions. He was struggling. We bring him on in the third quarter and just his instant impact of pressure was terrific um, at ground level. I think always with the sub, you've got to have those sort of players that can change games through their, you know, their ability to, you know, their high agility or their high pressure. That's what Wicks offers. 
Um, and as for Collingwood, well, Finn McRae's the sub, which is an interesting one. I thought he'd be an easy replacement for Tom Mitchell, who's been dropped or managed according to the AFL website. But let's be honest, it's probably dropped. Um, but looking like they might just want to play more run. And that could be an option for sure. Um, you know, Markov, Hoskin Elliott, Nick Dacos starting halfback. Obviously, he'll start in the middle. Uh, but yeah, they'll need to be much better defensively. Um, last week, Collingwood, they were disappointing in that facet for sure. Um, weren't very physical enough. Like, they lacked a lot of toughness around the footy. And, um, you know, with their team defence, they just like that, that, that uh, extra forward really sneak back out over, over, the, over the top. Um, and just allowed some easy entries for GWS. So, you know, that's where, with our ball movement at our best, we could definitely, um, you know, get some goals against the ground and get some goals from defensive 50 against Collingwood tonight for sure. Oh, but I'm keen, I'm keen. Really interested to see how this one pans out for sure. Really hoping the Dockers going to have a better year this year, says Dill. Oh, I'm definitely expecting that. I mean, I'd what, have them 13th or 12th, I'm pretty sure. Look, I'll, I'll probably put them in that rung that they could push for finals, but it's hard with ladder predictions. You wish you could put every, every team in, in, in the eight. Um, but I'm expecting them to improve. I can't really see them snag, stagnate um, too much. I mean, they just re-signed Justin Longmuir for, uh, for for an extra year, which, oh boy, uh, that that's um, probably from the media landscape. It's quite a questionable call, but we'll see how he fares. Uh, Got to be a real test for you, mate, getting through this one without swearing. <laughs> yeah, this, this that's true. This is the one that could hurt me because um, this one could get pretty tense. Um, I think we'll be okay, though. But, yeah, no, with no swearing, uh, the streams have actually been monetized, so it's actually nice. Because, uh, obviously, for people that probably don't know, um, last year I swore too much on streams and... Uh, my monetization settings were turned to limited instead of like fully monetized. So probably about 90 to 95% of your earnings you're not getting through limited because you're swearing. So I've had to cut that, uh, cut that a bit. Doing well so far. Um, if Demons play Swans the final with their best team, who would win? Um, well, if it was at the MCG, I'd expect Melbourne to play better. Look, there's still a lot of upside in Melbourne. I wouldn't really, you know, look at that performance from last week and say, well, that's how they're going to play all year because, you know, that first half was very good and they're never really good in the wet or dewy or hot conditions. Um, so, you know, if it's a cold, wintry day at the G, I'd expect them to play much better. And, you know, Petrarca and Oliver and Gorn usually play better as the season goes on too. Um, but we had outs last week as well. So, I don't know. I mean, I'd probably still back us, but Mel would probably be, of course, the better team on paper if we're talking from it, from your, if we're, Answering your question, that is. Um, G'day, Nick. Hopefully going well, mate. Hopefully it's a good game like last night's one. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, in terms of intensity, yeah, for sure. Hopefully we can continue that. Let's hope it's a bit more um, efficient, though. It was uh, <laughs> a lot of <laughs> a lot of poor turnovers, really, left, right, and centre. And Christ, how about that goal from Seth Campbell? That was off a of Brody Kemp kick right into Morris Rioli's stomach turnover. So, yeah. Uh, but I'm keen. I'm bullish. See so how we go. Rampy and more in the coin toss. Who's going to win it? No, oh, we win the coin toss. Go on. Kicking to the left-hand side of screen, so that'll be our cheer squad end for sure. But here we go. Massive test tonight. I said last week, you know, if we can somehow win this game, we start off the year 2-0 and beating Melbourne and Collingwood. And with the games we have, like, this is such a good opportunity to really jump the comp. Uh, but it's no easy fixture each week because we've got Eston next week at the SCG. That's never an easy game. Uh, and then we've got Richmond at the G, which is always tough. Tigers always like to turn up. I mean, you probably call West Coast a free result, but... Yeah, I don't know. And then the bye, and then the Suns at home, and then Hawthorne at the G. So, comparing to other top eight sides from last year, we've got a few of the bottom ten teams early on. But let's see how we go tonight. Big tests. It's a big night for Brownies going with Jack Chris. Bucks is going with Darcy Moore. For me, it is a big night for Isaac Heaney. He's just got to continue to really be a key part of our midfield setup. Got to get on top of that area. Um, so we've got to go with him. Ooh, massive test tonight. Turn the volume a wee bit up. Plays getting into positions. Ready for Friday night footy. 
Running Premier's first game of the MCG since the grand final. Here we go. Oh, yeah. How, thoughts on the jumper, everybody? It's a, it's a fresh one. I got this for my birthday. Look at this retro. Oh, it's bloody snug. But look at this. The sleeves are massive. I have to roll up the bloody wrists thingies. They're pretty, it's pretty big. Anyway, we're underway. Let's get this game going. Papley, soccer forward. Tuck of the footy from Chad. Tap out in the space. Penbury. He only had two touches at half time, so I'm expecting him to be much better. Good slap there from Heaney. Apply the heat. Penderbury now out in the space. Darcy Cameron, he's dispossessed. Rowbottom, clean pick up. Get the kick forward. That one's smothered. Only as far as Quain or Rowbottom, good tackle. So Chris starting in the centres for the Pies. So without Mitchell, interested to see how that midfield setup will go throughout the game. Who's going to be their main ball user from half back? I mean, maybe Dacos could float back, but I highly doubt it. I don't think Noble's playing tonight, so, yeah. Got to be aggressive tonight, of course, Brody Grundy. Another stoppage. Get a knife, we're going well, mate. Suns will beat Crows by 30. Yeah, I mean, that, fair enough, Theo. I mean, especially with um, no Walker, I'm a bit more confident on the Suns. And I was never really, I'd never really had a lack of confidence in the Suns. Like, I tipped Adelaide just because I was bullish on them. But no Walker, oh, God, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to change my tip. Oh, there we go, Heaney, beautiful stuff in the stoppage. That's a good kick for Joel. Oh, well done from Darcy Moore. Logan now got to be clean, gets the kick forward. Could trickle through, it's long side of the post. Well done from Jeremy Howe, getting there on the line. It's going to be important tonight for Collingwood, you'd think. Man, I'd now that's a, just a laxid easy kick sort of. That forces a turnover. Lloyd now back to Cunningham. Row bottom. Out across to out across to O Flow. That's a lovely kick in the corridor. He finds Juzzy. He plays on. It's the 45 out in the space. Beautiful footy. <laughs> McDonald out in the lead. Now this will take a mighty kick. You probably back him as a key forward to have the distance from here. Uh, but we'll see. Yeah, I think I remember you from last night, Lisa. Hopefully going well, mate. Yeah. You can't have, I've, I've joined the bandwagon with Heaney only because his break even is 10. I think you've just got to start him. I want to go Jackson, but uh, I think Darcy's only out for four weeks, so I don't know if I can go with him. So I'm going Heaney. Anyway, that was nice there from Isaac. McDonald's kick. Come back for me, son. Nah. Across the face. Jeez, that was a nice camera angle. I think we've got the, we've got the spider cam again tonight. Love that angle. Uh, Cardi's at the game, says Lockie. Uh... Yeah, I mean, I remember, I think it was the other week, I was saying he was going to the game. Anyway, Charlie Dean, second game in the system, that's a good kick. Oh, no, maybe not. Darcy Cameron unable to take the mark. Lloyd, back to Lewis Melican. Good short kick, finds Will Hayward. Kane Corns loves this guy, which is odd because he doesn't really like many plays. <laughs> anyway, he's going to go back to Melican. Kind of set it up. Not really the greatest kick. Yep, easy for Crisp. Takes two bites of the cherry for that one. Any given week, we could chuck Reed as a main ruck. Yeah, exactly. So that's also what I'm a bit concerned about. Yeah, good AFL time. Hopefully going well, mate. Anyway, we've been good here so far in forcing turnovers. Come on, let's get a goal early on. Isaac Heaney, good break tackle. He quickly goes out. Nice there from Isaac. He finds McDonald all alone. We've got options galore here. Robbie Fox. Ooh, fantastic Mr. Fox, the Tassie. Can he kick this? Well, he was from this exact angle last week and he put it out at the full, so I wouldn't give him... I wouldn't be too confident. Just back yourself, Robbie. Go on, Robbie. No, he wants to set it up. Yeah, yeah, it's not a really good favourable kick there for McDonald. Good intercept there from Dugowie. Goes now out across into space. Oh, really a great kick for Ash Johnson. Going to throw on. Yeah, no worries, Avocado. Take care, mate. All right, well, good early start here so far. We're owning time in fourth half, and we've been able to turn over the footy. Grundy unable to get a possession. Oh, no, he did well there. He was able to rip it out. No pause ball. Oh, but yeah, this jumper, so snug. It's going to be a beauty for winter. 
Could have been my good luck charm jumper as well, perhaps. Chatty warning out. Got to be better. Like, he started the game last week so poorly. I mean, his first half was awful. Roberts now. Rising start from last week. He goes inside 50. Bounce the footy. McDonald. He's had a few early touches. Papley now. Twisting, turning. He just gets a kick away. He's got the chicken wing tackle there a bit. Side bottom now. He did too much. Got to be holding the ball. Robbie Fox, good man. No, oh, that was a bit. That was a bit too fast of a throw there from side bottom. Oh, Robbie should have just dropped it. Would have given fifty. No, I'm only joking. Yeah, good there from Fox. Back yourself this time, son. He's not a much of a goal kicker, but he can play forward. He is playing forward, obviously tonight. No, he sets it up. Can we get a grab here? Oh, geez, almost Joel and rush through. Ninety-seven percent time and forward half. Jesus Christ! Well, and five inside fifties to zero. So, yeah. Usually when this happens, we still probably concede the first goal. <laughs> all right, more goes down the line. Melican, all yours, son. Easy stuff. He goes out across now to Heaney. Lovely stuff. Rack up the junk. Fantasy pig this year, Isaac. Corridor's open. Good option, Warner. Okay, McLean's all alone. Oh, kick just couldn't favour Jordan there. Side bottom now. Poor hand pass. Fox, good attack on the footy. Just soccer it. Nah, the bouncing in favour him. Dispossessed there is Quain or Jordan. Good heat. Good pressure applied. Come on, we've got to cash in here. Another ball up. Let's get the uh, fan footy rolling with the fantasy scores. <laughs> oh, God. Pendlebury now. Better hand pass out to Nick Dacos now. Side bottom. Oh, poor turnover. Go for goal, Chad. Good boy. Gee, side bottom's had an awful start to this game. He's had about five turnovers. Bit of a bit of an over exaggerated, but that exaggeration. But there we go. We deserve finally a major. There we go, Chad with the first. Okay, we'll take that. So they tried to break free there from congestion, and I mean, bloody hell, was that? What even? What even was that hand pass from side bottom? That was terrible. We'll take it. One goal three to, to zip. Positive it to have a possession in the fourth half. And sneaks it home. Come on, good start. Let's keep this fourth half use going. And Chad's got Chad's got the Nike TN boots on as well. <laughs> He's got the Eshag boots on. Oh, could that give him a bit of fire for tonight? Going now at the Dacos. Short kick finds his brother of Josh. Low kick. Nice one. Finds Bobby Hill. The Norm Smith from last year. My check couldn't take the mark. Juzzy now. Tap out from Cunningham. Rampy now. Got to be clean. Back to Tommy McCartan. Just gets it out to Nick Blakey. What a week he had last week. Just couldn't hit the target. Juzzy, good contact. But it was a little bit higher there. Now, from the angle, I don't know if it was a nasty shot. We'll have to see on the replay. Yeah, nah, just good. Good honest, good honest play. Just got him a bit high. Short to, get, short to now, Dugowie. That's with this camera angle. I can't see. Jeez, the director's had a... Director's passed out or something. Blakey's a beast. Yeah, it was great last week. Anyway, Dacos now. Oh, don't tell me. Oh, what a goal from Dacos. What a star he is. And there we go. They respond back with a beautiful goal from outside 50. Well, what a goal. Now, we just can't give that space, though, on the edge of the 50. 
We've been seeing a lot of long distance goals as well early on this season too. I mean, we saw Jaden Short from 60 last night. Well, I don't think Collingwood have had an inside 50. And they've already got a goal. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, game on. I mean, technically, that's an inside 50, I think, because it's gone inside the zone. Oh, great kick, though. Great kick. Oh, you could say zero disposals inside 50. Well, there you go. Well, that's the first goal for Collingwood. Dacos now just gets it out to Dugowie. He gets a clearance forward out into space. Good spoil there from Cunners. He's going to be doing the job tonight on Bobby Hill. Hoskin Elliott snap around the corner to Mater Roberts. Good spoil. He's done some great jobs, Harry Cunningham, on some of those small defenders. He was superb on Charlie Cameron last time out um, at the Gabba last year. So he's going to be important tonight. I think Bobby Hill's, Bobby Hill's bleached his hair blonde as well. Grundy gets front position, grabs it out of the ruck. Hand pass is poor, though, only as far, far as Lipinski. Dacos now. Oh, twisting and turning. Hand pass now into space for Lipinski. He sets it up. Go for this, Braden. Oh, you, your son. Oh, dear, that's terrible. Just off the drop mark, Bobby Hill, Johnny on the spot. Two quick ones for Collingwood. That was all Tommy McCartan's or Braden Campbell's. That should have been an easy intercept mark. Yeah, lack of lack of cohesion there. Well, there we go. Now make your pay. This is the thing with Collingwood. They do make your pay. And that's just a poor error from our end. But how about this from Nick Dacos? Twisting, turning, beautiful vision. Lipinski sets it up. But that's just got to be an easy pick off there. I mean, Campbell had the momentum for an easy intercept. Ah, uh, that's just disgusting. Oh, those are the ones that kill you. No talk there. Lack of comms. Lack of comms. Ah, bloody hell. What a waste of a good start, though. Got to get back on top here. Pies the last few clearances. Jordan holding free. We'll take it. No, I don't think Noble's playing. Dutch. Short kick. Goulden's first touch. Who can he pick apart? Low kick. Oh! <laughs> oh, I tell you what. That's not a bad kick inside 50 from Errol. Go back, Isaac. Now, his kicking was his issue last year, Isaac Heaney. Let's convert this and get back in the lead. That was a lovely kick from Goulden to Heaney. And can he now hit the scoreboard? Nah, he sliced it to the left. One goal, four now from our end. Pies by two points. Well, that was a lovely inside 50, though. Ooh, could watch that on repeat. Hey, right, more now. Short the Charlie Dean. No, don't go to the Hawks, Errol. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I mean, we're leaving. Pigs would be flying if he'd sure if he'd leave Sydney. Maynard now, long down the line. And buzz ball. 13 contested possessions apiece. Almost halfway through this first term. Pendlebury gets a little kick forward. Only as far as Cunningham. Did well in the air. Cunners now goes short. Tommy McCartan. Yeah, geez. That's something McCartan always needs to improve. His foot skills can always let him down a bit. Put an error under the pump there. And just launch it now long down the line. Mason Cox in the hole here. Unable to take the mark. Tap now in this space. Lloyd read it best. Who can he find? It's just a high entry. One on one. Come on. Brandon Campbell a chance. Ball hits the deck. Crummers maybe. Heaney. Fumble. Campbell now at ground level. Got to get it out. Good tackle. Good pressure from Charlie Dean. 
And it will be held in from Pendles, umpire's ball. 450 stoppage here. Mason Cox now hit out. Now there's space for Maynard. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, those those uh, those uh, rush behinds always. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. Nah, fair enough. He was pressured. Melican. Oh, Lewis Melican. What an effort. No, no. Oh, well, it could have been out there. Okay, one goal five now. Good stuff there from Melican. He's started okay so far. Short now to Blakey. Told to go, not 15. Deep to the pocket. Can McLean maybe fly? Mason Cox, tremendous mark. He's has, he has to be much more better tonight for sure. Now, that was a poor contest to be fair there from Johnson. Didn't really... He had to sit there against Melican. Didn't make much, in a, much of an effort. Mason Cox now down the line. Push out there, Blakey. We'll get a free. Looks like I put a bit of mail on it. Hearing from the boos of the crowd. Okay, we'll set it up now. Robbie Fox, maybe. No, Mason Cox again, another intercept. This was some of our issues as well from last week. Our ball movement from D50 was good, but just bombing it long, though. We had plenty of that. Anyway, that just trickles out of bounds for boundary throwing. Well, we need to get more from our tools tonight, though. That's just an absolute must. It was never going to be a game for tools in the conditions last week, but we've got to get more service from them. I mean, McLean was barely visible last week. Probably same with McDonald in the air, too. Grundy read it well. No, hands in the back. Fair enough. Bronx cheers from the crowd. I mean, he got, Grundy gave away like four frees in the first half, so probably his discipline he could fix up on. Now, long one tar forward. Melican again. Hey, Blakey did well there. He was able to sort of nudge out. Oh, poor turnover. Couldn't see it because of the camera angle. McCreary. Smart intercept there. That's a terrible way to... That's a terrible spot to give it away. No, no good. Well, can now McCreary make us pay? They've had three inside 50s, Collingwood. And can they make it three goals? It's the woodwork. Unlucky. Oof, that's their first point. Two-point game. Bit of a an erratic start, I think, from both sides. Blakey, oh, that is a tremendous kick. All alone, Will Haywood. Could we go end-to-end -end here? We've got options out the outer side. Now we want to switch it up. McLean. Bit of an immobile user. Carton now. Oh, what a spore that is. That was tremendous. Who was that from? I think it was Lockie Schultz, but Goulden able to keep it in. Chipping ball. Row bottom. Got options forward here. We'll just chip it out across back to Cunningham. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good way to put it, Nick. Good start of the season, apart from that kick. Okay, long entry. Come on, someone get up. Lloyd, Goulden, just gets the hands out. Jordan, good hand pass. Fox now. We just can't find a sp space here for a kick. Chart now goes back to Blakey. Good tap. Roberts now, head over the footy, well done, but just no support. As the Pies could break free here. Yep, they've got no options forward. This is where they're dangerous. Dacos now. Just needs to chip out over the top here for us, Johnson. Johnson now in space. McCartan needs to do well here. And Tommy did well. Well done, Tommy. Well, that was good team defence there from Collingwood. Just didn't allow us space there to get a shot at goal. 
And that's where they go. Just those end-to-end -end movements. That that hand pass out of congestion. I forgot. I didn't see who that was from because it was just it just happened so fast. But that was good. Okay, inside 50. Opportunity here for Collingwood. Mason Cox hit out. Dugowie, always dangerous from the stoppage. And he's absolutely nailed the check side. What a goal from Dugowie. Three goals, 119. One goal, 511. And they're just starting to make us pay now with our opportunities. Ah, oh, bloody hell. It's been a bit of a frustrating start now. We've had the opportunities to really put some goals on the scoreboard, but just efficiency is really hurting us at the moment. And the goal was just all, all alone there. We'll see this again. Hey, Mason Cock. Oh, I mean, it was it really dropped past both Ruckman there. I don't think anyone really got a hit out to that, and Dugowie too good. Well, it still feels like we still are controlling this game. Just when it goes into our defensive half, we're just leaking these goals. Got to start hitting a bit of scoreboard pressure. That's going to be against McLean for a high. Darcy Cameron now. Low kick. Finds Oleg Markov, the boy from Belarus. He'll just quickly give it to Dugowie. Now to cross. Got to go. Good stuff, Rowie. Now run. Run like the wind, son. Pick it up. Find a target. They've got plenty of time here. McDonald's all alone over the top. Does he have the leg? Got to fly, Logues. Good boy. No, he's dropped it. You're kidding me. How in the, how in the world's he dropped that? Hmm... Another opportunity wasted there. Brandon Campbell keeps it in. Jeez, bash and crush of bodies here. There's Horsey barking out instructions, but Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, hey, we've got on the way. That's twice now that's happened. Frustrating stuff. We're just, we're just lacking composure in the forward half. We really are. What's going on? What's going on? What in the world? How was that play on? Well, we've been gifted there. Let's see this again. How, how was that play on? Jesus, first quarter's having absolutely everything. <laughs> But they're not showing the replay. Well, come on. We'll take anything, for goodness sake, at the moment. We can't convert. Come on, Rowie. Against the grain. It feels like, almost. Because we can't kick. Nah. He's missed. One goal, six. <sighs> I don't even know what that free was for, to be fair. So probably footy just its played its part. I mean, Mark off you. He couldn't hear the umpire at all. Jamie Howe now out of the fence. Good boy, Grundy. The only throw yeah, it is a bit of 2023. <laughs> oh, God, the, P the, the PTSD starting to enter into the head again. <laughs> oh, dear. This No, but this is just like last year. Just like last year. We were at about two goals, ten from set shots or some shit. So we need to convert. Inside 50, Joel, better. We know he can take the contested clunks. Okay. And Richo put it well. It definitely will help his confidence when him with him grabbing a mark like that. Good there from McLean. He blocked out more. Yeah, Marty only really was able to get a free jump. Anyway, Joel. Good boy. Back to a one-point game. Two goals, six, three goals, one. Uh, much needed goal. Three thirty to play. Jesus, first quarter's been having absolutely everything. Marty party. Oh, that was fun. Twenty twenty one days, eh? That was fun. Seems so long ago now. 
Okay, but we'll take that. Bit of a settler. As I've been saying, we, we've been controlling this game. We've just got to show the scoreboard pressure. Come on. Back in the middle, day. Nick Dacos has had a good start. Just racking up these clearances. And look at that, non-preferred. As easy as you like out to Bobby Hill. Quick now out to Josh Dacos. On his left shoe inside 50. Melican in the spot. Johnson can fly. Just couldn't take the mark. Rampy dispossessed. And good tackle there. Umpire's ball. See, that's the thing with Johnson. He can take those flies. Oh, he's got to mark that. Warner now. Bit of a fumble from Roberts. He's just going to hoof it long. Got to bring this to ground. Good stuff, Ados. Quainall's there first. Gets the hands out. And the space for Crisp. Bobbling ball, Markov. Good tackle there applied from Rowie. Rowbottom. Back to Heaney. Hands now out into space, but that's a poor hand pass. Only as far as how McLean applies the heat. Well done. Just gets a little squib kick forward. Out in the space for Haywood. He's got a bit of time. No, sorry, this is Tom Papley. Cue the booze. <laughs> Low kick, couldn't find the target of Juzzy. Good defending there. Maynard now in board the Dacos. He gives it back out now to Hoskin Elliott. Bobby Hill. Corridor's on. Short to Maynard. Goes across now to Jeremy Howe. Corridor options on here. Nah, poor kick. Matty Roberts in the hole. Good boy. Hey, I'll tell you what, Matty Roberts, potential Jake Lloyd successor. But I think the club really rate this guy um, as a half back, even though he's never played there before. He's always been a half forward inside mid type, so it's interesting. Anyway, speaking of Lloyd, now has possession. Boots it long towards the wing. Quainall reads it beautifully. Plays both have a gun in descent as well. Quainor and Amani, good contest. Now Oleg Markov. Short to Hoskin Elliott. Ninety seconds to go. Jeremy Howe now. Ship it out across the side bottom. So they're going out the outer side here. Gonna have to kick it to a contest here. Wobbly kick. Oh, Dacos almost marked that. Robbie Fox now. Nowhere to go. Wobbly kick. It's a bit of a poor one. Got the numbers here. Heaney. Got to be clean. As Nathan Brown would say. Oh, is that cleany? But he fumbled there. As Dacos centering ball. Beautiful. Oh, just couldn't hit Johnson, but he recovers. Good tackle there from Melican. Don't think that one was high. We'll see on the replay. Let's see. Nah, he's, he's just he's just plain and simple duck there, to be honest, Johnson. I thought Melican with against momentum like that, it was always hard to stick a tackle foot. He did well there. Okay, let's not concede. We love conceding red time goals. Grundy now hit out. Jamie Elliott always dangerous in these spots. Florent. And just couldn't hit Roberts there. Okay, another forward 50 stoppage. Well, it's an intense start, though. Intense start from both teams. Collingwood, the last few minutes, have now started to gain a bit of territory their way, and they're winning the clearances. Grundy, good body work. Roberts now. Hands are now out of the jersey. Back to Heaney. Short to Amadi. Now, if we could go here... We've got to go, Joel. We've got to go. It's going to bird half the bird at long to a contest. Fly Hados. Brings it to the ground. Uh, just bounce in favour us. Lloyd now. Campbell. Dispossess. That's on the ball. And that will do for the quarter. Well, I'll tell you what. Not a bad start from our end. Could be better, but one point margin it is at the end. Yeah, but inefficient stuff from us. It has to be said. Two goals, six. Three goals, one. 
Um, we had a very good first five minutes, but weren't cashing in and then conceded two in a row. So, yeah, we've had we've had the chances to put a bit of scoreboard pressure on. Um, but, yeah, this this game's now starting, starting to turn a little bit back back and forth. So, uh, I guess we'll take a point of a margin, given that, uh, you know, it's not one goal seven. Because <laughs> I was a bit concerned there. I thought Joel was going to miss that, uh, that opportunity. Uh, but, yeah, it's a, it's a very intense start to this game for sure. I think, uh, in general, probably the ball use is a bit better from last night too. Um, but, hey, in terms of controlling the game, I think we've been able to do that. We just can't put it on the scoreboard. 14 inside, 50 to 7 our way. Um, contest possession's all tied up. Plus two clearances Collingwood's way. We're winning the stoppage clearances, which was where we were really good last week. Um... Yeah, it's just when we're not we're not getting enough half forward winners. We can't take a mark there, um, and we just simply can't convert. And the Pies have been able to get a few against the grain. So yeah, one point margin it is. Um, I mean, I guess if we want to think about positives, we're not down by more. Um, anyway, let's have a look at the team stats. James E. Rowbottom's had a fantastic start to this game. Five tackles in that first quarter, seven disposals. Nick Dacos has been sensational with 11 disposals and two clearances. He's just been silky smooth to Goey as well. Seven touches for him. Um, Scotty Penelbury with six. Lloyd with six. Uh, so, yeah, so Jordan, Dacos, Penelbury are the clearance leaders. Uh, Matty Roberts, not a bad start. He's got uh, four touches and he's got a clearance to Chad Warner with the goal and five touches. Goal assist to Grundy and to Goey. Intercept possessions, Lewis Melican. I've really liked Melican's start so far. He's been really, really good in the air, um, apart from that turnover. <laughs> um, no, nah, but he, he's doing the job so far. Uh, but yeah, we, ju we just seem a little bit a little bit erratic going inside 50. I think we've just got to compose ourselves because we have been able to control this game for major portions of the first term. We're just not cashing in well with our opportunities for sure. Anyway, how's Heaney going? Uh, 26 fantasy, you love to see it. Um, Matty Roberts, 18. Not bad at all. But yeah, very, very high intensity first term, must be said. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how this one continues to pan out for sure. But yeah, very true, Dark Horse. Got to start converting our chances. And, you know, calling with a side that's just going to make you pay um, if you're inaccurate. I mean, it was a rare signing last week. It was um, not the case for them then. But, yeah, they've got the three goals won only with seven inside 50s too. Yeah, I can't. Bulldogs hopefully going well, mate. Good fight in the first term. Should be in front of the wasted chances. Yeah, I agree, AFL legend. I feel like we probably should somewhat be in the lead. Um, we've yeah, been a bit piss poor. He wants to give Mark Canetti the run around with Dacos. He's taking the piss out of the back free kick on Mark. Yeah, I mean, it's just, he's been good in the centre bounces too, Dacos. So we've got to keep him accountable too. Um... Because, yeah, no, his goal from 50 out was just sensational. Jaden Short-esque, you could say. But this is a good passage to play from Collingwood. Lining up for hand passes. Warner didn't know what to do. Scrappy turnover. Just couldn't find a spot to score. Yeah, it was, Pen it was Penderbury that hand pass out to my check. That was really well done. But, hey, that was good from Tommy McCartan, too. Intensity, been good. Just need to convert. Yeah, possibly, <laughs> Brandon, mate, because the last time we've won at the G, um, well, we haven't won at the G, sorry, since the 2022 Grand Final. So, 
Yeah, the monkey needs to get off the back. We need to get the monkey off the back. But we do have a few early MCG fixtures too if we don't get up tonight. We've got Richmond and Hawthorne there the first eight weeks, so. We don't look the worst, says Mark. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm pretty content. Like, you can't have absolutely everything. Like, we could be in front. Um, but, you know, taking it stages, it could come back to haunt us, but at least we're not down by a few goals. But, you know, the two, the two, it's happened twice that quarter. Twice that quarter, it should have been an easy intercept to Braden Campbell. McCartan comes back in the flight and he punches out of his vicinity and then Bobby Hill just reads the bounce and gets the goal. And then we had McDonald out the back. It should have been an easy chess mark and then Haywood comes in and spoils it. So just just those those little lack of communications being hurting us too. <sighs> But, you know, we've been controlling this game, so if we can continue to do that, um, hopefully we can start to bear a bit of fruit on the scoreboard. Um, but, yeah, if you're a neutral, I think you're, you're pretty happy with this start so far. It's been high intensity, high pressure. Hopefully we can see some more accurate goal kicking. All right, we're underway for quarter number two. Paplihini, Warner in the centre bounce. Warner just unable to get a effective disposal out. Pendles is able to, and there we go. We just leave to go. We free there again for the easy clearance. And oh, well done, Rampy there in the air. Cunningham now got to be clean. Tommy McCartan back to Ramps. Heaney now to Chad. Wobbly sort of kick. Robbie Fox always evasive. Warner now out to Lloyd. That's a good kick. McDonald got to take that mark. Charlie Dean now. Side bottom. Quainall. Darcy Moore. Fumble there from Hill. Down and throwing. Yeah, good thanks, Tudu. Hopefully going well yourself, mate. And AK Films, welcome, mate. Ten in outside. I, I, I must say, um, when Macy Cox has looked good so far. Same with Darcy Cameron. Jazzy did well. So it looks like he's possibly playing on um, Dacos now. That's a stone cold, stone wall holding free there. Eighth possession coming up for Isaac. Hopefully he can be consistent this year. Wish he kicked that goal, though. That would have been nice. High ball inside 50. Grundy comes from the side. Punch forward from Fox. Hayward always good in the air. Nice tap there, Road Bottom. Papley now. He can kick goals on his left. And he does. Tommy Papley. Get around him. We'll, we'll, we'll hold on the chant for now. <laughs> Get the Papa emojis. Yes, get him in the chat, everybody. Get the Papa, Papa emojis if you're a member. Feel free to be a member if you wish. $1.49 a month. Uh, but you know when it's in that spot, he kicks him. Left foot, right foot snaps. He's good in front of goal, Tommy Papley. How about that craft? Beautiful stuff. Uh, the tap from uh, Haywood was clean. Great vertical leap, row bottom. Quick, smart hands out to Paps. Better. We didn't see that at all in the first term. A good crush of the pack there from Grundy. See, Amadi and McLean hasn't been able to do that yet this first term, or from the first term. No tongue flick yet for Paps. <laughs> okay, we're back in the lead. Let's start to now maintain it. But another clearance coming here for Collingwood. Dacos gets it out the Pendles. Or maybe have they overused it by hands? Nothing they've done well. Side bottom. Good smother there from Jake Lloyd. Let's hit the dirk and turnover. Fox dispossessed. Dacos now. He's got a ball on a string. Beautiful stuff. 14 touch. Bobby Hill, he's got to mark that football. He's just going to whack it long, but we've got the numbers. Good stuff there, Tommy. He was good intercepting last week, Tommy McCartan. Did a good job on Van Rooyen. Tommy Mack now. Down to the next contest. Uh, good stuff there from Cameron. Pushes out Grundy with ease. I think in the overall landscape, I'd still say Darcy Cameron's almost like an underappreciated ruckman. Um, I know Mason Cox was their main ruck heading into the finals, but, I mean, just his body work. Um, he's always been 
Very, very good. Hoskin Elliott now short chipping ball. Josh Dacos. He goes back to Hoskin Elliott. High entry here. Who's the flies? Maybe my check. He just jumps too late. Cutting him now. Hand pass doesn't really favour Rampy. Just take it over. Oh, he's kept it in. He's kept it in. Oh, ho, ho. Dane Rampy. One of the sexiest men in football. And I'm not gay, but, you know, must be said. Oh, the ladies love him. <laughs> anyway, down the line now from Wilbur. Got to go, Joel. Hits the deck. Row bottom. Get the hand pass out. Good boy. Chad now. Break the tackle. Get it forward. Who's out the back? Tommy Papley. Over the top. Should be a goal. Over the... Oh, Jake Lloyd. Jake Lloyd. No. Oh, my God. How have we stuffed that up? How in the world have we stuffed that up? Oh, my God. For goodness sake. That's that's just pressure. That That's just pressure. That, that's just pressure from Lloyd. You know, the cheer, the Collingwood faithful screaming at him, trying to put him off. Oh, my God. Oh, that would have been an important goal. But anyway, another inside 50. Let's just get that behind us. What the... What happened there? Unbelievable. The ball hit the camera. Are you serious? Oh, my God. If this costs us... <laughs> anyway, Mason Cox now in the space. That's a good kick for Bobby Hill. Gone ramps. Oh, that was good there from Bobby Hill. Clean pick up. Beautiful from Cunners. Play on. How's that not a stoppage? Anyway, we'll take it. Florent now. Degoe just gets it out. Chad. Oh, good there from Chad. Uh, hand pass wasn't great. Heaney's got to be clean. Born dispute here. Lipinski, great attack on the football. Back to Charlie Dean. He did clean there, but that was a poor hand pass. Straight to Gildan. Oh, it's turnovers galore here. It's like a bar of soap. Robbie Fox soccers it forward. It's a foot race. Darcy, Cameron, and Heaney. Cameron now. Back to Markov. Oh, jeez. Funny old kick. Come on. Got to punish them here, Amadi. Oh, just get the hand pass. Stop fumbling it. <laughs> Haywood. Back to Juzzy. Plays exhausted. Goulden now. Twisting. Turning. Shank of a kick. Falls to Rowbottom. Go for home from 50 out. Yes! Jamesy Rowbottom. That's a massive goal. Oh, my God. <laughs> just need to take a deep, deep breath. Trust. I, I feel exhausted watching that. Oh. What is going on? <laughs> What's going on? BT's a buy shit. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I, I, need to, I need to compose myself here. Get back in the commentary mode. It's just... Oh. I'm giving a bit. I'm giving. I'm getting a bit overstimulated. <laughs> okay, well, 11 point margin. We'll take it for now. Good from Rowie. Flushes it. Come on. Two goal to zip. Second term in our favour. Grundy played the frame. Wins it. Short kick out across now. Braden Campbell. Now, I'd say he probably has the distance for goal from here. No, I'm only joking. Good use. Beautiful. Juzzy. Plays on now. Lowers the eyes. Nah. Good intercept there from Dean. Second gamer. Three goals, one. Four goals, six. Yeah, there's a bit of a stream delay. Poacher as always. That's just a normal thing. No matter where you live. Cameron, good mark. Down the line. Darcy Cameron now goes to the next contest. Now Dacos, Nick that is, first to arrive. Quick hands to side, bottom E keeps it in. Chris wants to as well. Little soccer four, got to apply the heat here, gents. Now my check. Hands out in the space for Quainor. 
Pressure's been good, but they're still getting it forward here. Good, yeah, good stuff. Force the turnover. Quainor, poor kick, Juzzy now. We can go. Robbie Fox, compose yourself, lads. James Jordan, bounces. Time here, deep, one-on-one. -on -one. It's Heaney and Brandon Maynard. Isaac Heaney, clean. Mark or free kick, take your pick. That pad is a mark. Beautiful stuff there from Heaney. Oof. Um, I'm going, well, my vote's from last night. Um, I'm going Crips the best on ground, Gundy. He's probably mine, so. Ah, Heaney left foot snap. Okay, I mean, he can kick these, but God. You just never know. Come on, Isaac. No. Yeah, woodwork. Got to go drop punt there. Four goals, seven now. Had to make the most of that chance. I mean, we were out there. Beautiful end-to-end -end movement once again. Pressure. The pressure's been very good this game so far from us too. Jeremy Howe now. Got to go here. Good punch there from Grundy. Yeah, pressure there. Elite. Holding the ball. Chad now. Turnover. Out the back here. Easy stuff for McDonald. Easy as you like. That's a bit of a lucky one. Trickle out the back of McDonald there. Johnny on the spot. Okay. Starting to run away for it a bit. 18 point margin. This has been a great second term. You've put it well on for a legend. The pressure has been outstanding. Forcing turnovers. We're starting to compose ourselves a lot better in our forward half. And we're starting to bring it to ground and be more aggressive. We'll take it. Six center clearances to two, though, Collingwood's way. That's really the only way they've been able to get in their forward half. Like Dacos and everything, they've just been able to get the kicks forward, but good stuff there, Chad. 18 point margin. Five goals, seven, three goals, one. Chad now gets it forward. Well done. Out in the space. Or could work here for Papley. Oh, good contest there for Moore. And Oscar Elliott composes out into space here for Oscar Elliott. Now he's overcommitted here, Roberts. He's got to go. Clever slap there from side bottom. McCreary continues a link in the chain down the line. Now he's in the spot here again, Melican. Arrived late was Johnson, but he hit the deck. Melican now. We'll just go back across. Harry Cunningham. Out across to Braden Campbell. Campbell now long down the line. Got to find a fly here. Hits the deck. Heaney did well. Just gets the kick forward. Yeah, lack of awareness there. Straight to Quainor. Quainor now. Oh, geez. That's a risky kick. Oh, Hoskin Elliott just gets the soccer forward. But this is a dangerous situation here for either side. Who can get it forward? Jordan hand pass. Didn't favour Chad there, but he has time. Oh, what a tackle. But he just got the hand pass out there, Chad. Heaney. Now out across to Campbell. We've got numbers here. Braden Campbell all alone in the goal square. Easy as you like. Logan McDonald. And he'll smash it through for our sixths. <laughs> Punishing off the turnover. Oh, baby. 24 point margin it is now. Bloody hell. Wow, okay. Six goals, seven, three goals, one. Scrappy stuff. Ah, uh, but look at that from Chad. Just how strong he is. Bowman Cree is a tough, tough tackler. And we get it forward. Just, again, it's just free-flowing ball movement. Campbell, easy stuff to McDonald. Barrels it through. Let's keep on going. Heaney now. Quick hands out the Juzzy. Tap. Goulden, beautiful. 
Nah, I just couldn't get the hand pass out. Josh Dacos now whacks the soccer forward. Out into space here. Rampy reads it first. Gets out in the space. Jordan now. Good attack on the footy. He goes back to Rampy. And he'll go back now to Florent. Composes himself with a good kick in the corridor to Isaac Heaney. Heaney now will play on. Low kick, beautiful stuff. He's got to mark that, Braden. Playing higher up the ground, though. We love to see it, though, Braden Campbell. Good, and Heaney attacks it beautifully. He keeps running. His work rate's beautiful. He goes deep. Flyers, Chatty Warner. Wow. We're starting to cook here. Starting to cook with a bit of grease. 24 to 13 inside 50s. Eight marks to one inside 50. Five straight chance with Chad Warner. Disposals inside 54 to 27. Now on, let's convert. Need to keep on punching through these goals and get this margin out. And he does. Good boy, Chad. Wow. Poof. 30 point margin. Five goals it is. Let's keep on going. Ah, oh, but this is this has been a great, fantastic second term. Um, pressure's been great. Wow, the Sydney chance is starting to come to come alive a bit. I've seen enough, Warner Brownlow. Yeah, it's easy to get to take to get the lid off. We'll keep composed, but look at that. How's just not going up there? He goes up. He flies up for those all the time. But okay, well we go again. Ten twenty nine to go in this second term. Nice tap from Cox. Pendles gets the clearance. Forward now to Bobby Hill. Back to Elliott. They need the next tier, Collingwood. Who can he find inside 50? That's just a poor kick. Back with a flight, Tommy McCartan. Well done. He probably played on. Didn't need to there. But he's just now going to have to whack it out into space. Well done from Maynard. Good smother, Robbie Fox. Oh, that's unfortunate. Falls straight back into Maynard's lap. High ball, Melikin. All yours, son. Good boy. Okay, I tell you what. COVID year 2020. Lewis Melikin and Tom McCartan were meant to be the future of our defence, but injuries have killed Melikin. And I'll tell you what, he's, he, so far this season, he's looking quite good. Anyway, we get it out here. Matty Roberts, rising star nominee from last week. Back out to Braden Campbell. High kick now, down the line. Got winners here, a chance for McDonald. Good spore from Moore. That'll do. Henry throwing. Cross, I've got to get the fan on in here. I'm sweating like hot cheese on toast with this lovely jumper on. It's a beauty, isn't it? Bit of retro. Shout out to mum. Tip top's the one good on your mum for the lovely 21st birthday present. It's a beautiful jumper. Josh Dacos. Good tackle there from Jordan. Could be holding the ball. No, he didn't have pride, to be fair. <clears throat> seven goals, seven. Three goals, one. Been a great second term. Let's keep on cooking here with Grease. As they get it out here, Collingwood, Hoskin Elliott, another smother. And that's just fallen straight to Cunningham. Now Florent. Good pressure applied. Oh, Robbie Fox. Jeez, he's been great this game. Maynard, good tackle on Lloyd. Umpire's ball. Okay, let's have a look at the fantasy stats. Okay, oh, Heaney's on 59. Beautiful. I am Jose Mourinho. The ultimate fantasy manager here. I'm only joking. Gilden now inside 50. Outnumber contest. Should be easy. Yep, Darcy Moore. Oh, there you go, Tristan. Darcy Moore now out the space. Got to go here, Blakey. Brings it to ground. Oh, he somehow is able to pop free with it. Corridor kicks a nice one. Jamie Elliott. Short now. Pendlebury. Looking like we're setting up well on defence. Because they're just going slow here, Collingwood. That's a little bit unlike them. But they're going to be building up here through the outer side. Maynard. Out across the outer side bottom. Short kick. Jack Crisp. Inside 50s. Need to improve as well for Collingwood. Pendles now. We'll set it up for Cox on the lead. Better ball movement. And he takes the grab. Oh, here we go. The USA chance will be ringing around the MCG if we can slot this through. 
Yeah, it does, mate. They're definitely looking second rate from what we've witnessed so far. Just, again, they're looking really sloppy in defending ball movement. But here's a chance. It's a much new goal here for Mason Cox. Can he convert? Yeah, how about that? You cut the Heen machine on 59. Oh, that's a good swap in for me. Mason Cox. Way! Oh, okay, I'm only joking. Just a bit of banter. We'll, we'll save the Bronx cheese for now. Ah, they near that. Nick Blakey now. Got a flight. Good boy, Joel. 7.14 till half time. <clears throat> and Marty now down the line. And that's going to be free against Grundy. Um, quickly gives it off to Quainor now. Side bottom. Good short kick. I've got numbers here. Collingwood. Schultz pills off. He plays on. Deep kick. Got to go here, Liz. Oh, just did well enough. Cunningham. And yeah, holding free, fair enough. Bone recruit will line up in front of goal. It was there, to be fair. Jesus Crush. Oof, that, that would have been absolutely in flames if that wasn't called. Good kick, though, from Schultz. Just Lees was unable to get a spoil in. Yep. Chance for Collingwood to get this back to 23 points. Should convert. There we go, down the pipe. Collingwood finally respond back. Their first goal of this second term. Four goals, two, seven goals, seven. See in the end, just a bit of lack of discipline there from uh, Cunningham. But, uh, you know, it was a good contest. Nice freeze up and... Imagine the pies that Tex Walker, just a thought. Yeah, they're probably, list wise, they probably still are lacking that ideal key forward. That is definitely is that list, we list weakness. Okay, well, let's not go into our shells here. This is what we love to do last year, 2023 PTSD. Does it come back for me? Hopefully not. Andy now, good hands. Roberts, out across. Rampy out in the space. That's a beautiful kick. James Jordan on the end of it. Taking Will Gould's number from last year. Jeez, remember him. Waiting and waiting for his debut and he is just no good, unfortunately. In the seniors. Papley now takes it over. Fair only throw in. Just outside the Swans Ford 50. Only trying to get that front position. Gets the hit out. Dacos just reads it best. Cameron now. Wax one forward. Dribble out towards McCreary. Hands were poor though. Jordan intercepts. Heaney now. Another poor hand pass there from Jordan. Roberts gets it out. Heaney. Dispossessed. Florent. Good pressure applied here from Collingwood. Schultz. Out to Dacos. Who's he going to find here? Johnson. Fumbles. Galore. He gives it back now to Lipinski. Over the top, they could be out here. Collingwood, Lockie Schultz, Degoe, bang, row bottom. What a tackle. What a tackle from Rowie. Defensive intent. Oh, here comes the boom. Here comes the boom. Ready or no? Jesus Christ. I just embarrass myself, don't I? That's going to be old. Oh, Jesus, Grundy again, just giving away those frees. Darcy Cameron now want to set it up here. Oh, he didn't have pride to go here, let's be honest. Probably just wanting to set it up here, Cameron. Has he got the distance? No, he'll set it up. Can they find Cox here? 
Got the numbers. McCrory, something out of nothing almost. Still has it. Wobbling ball to Goey now. Tuck on the footy. Just gets the hands out. Schultz. Wobbly kick. He's got it. Great goal, Lockie Schultz. Two in a row now for Collingwood. And that's a lifter. Back to 17 points. Much needed goal. We have the numbers there on the air to sort of to intervene, but it was just great stuff there from McCrory getting it out. And there we go. Important two ones there for Collingwood. Tell you what, though. Lockie Schultz is always a kill, one that kills us. Him at Fremantle. God, it felt like he kicked at least four goals every game against us. <laughs> Schultz looks horrible. Collie, Collie, Collingwood colours says, Graz, oh, mate. I tell you what, if I was a Collingwood fan, I would have been very disappointed with him leaving. I mean, fair enough, but like he was one of his star plays. But, geez, we had three or four there to get it out. Yeah, that could have been a goal we really could have defended, but Degoe did well. Schultz snapped around the... But look at that. Like three numbers around the football. We've just got to force a turn over there. Five goals, two to seven goals, seven. Two in a row for Collingwood. They've been able to stem the flow of six in a row here for Sydney. Pendles now. Gets the hand pass out to Dacos. Out across to Grundy. Max 140. He's got a fly here. Rampy. Bobby Hill did well. Just gets the hands out. Ash Johnson. Dispossessed. Melican. Florent. Back to Rampy. Compose. Long down the line. Marty. Big mark. That is, that's a huge mark. Uh, he's been better this second term, Joel. Starting to really throw it, throw his weight around. And he'll just pop it along down the line. Markov. Holds it in. Umpire's ball. 3.37 to go. Brandon Campbell now gets the stoppage and gets it forward. Chad, oh, jeez, what a fly that is from Warner. Bit unrealistic, but the effort was there. Anyway, come on, let's force this turnover here and inside our 50, Pendlebury. And across, now Maynard. Good hands there from Collingwood. Yeah, good footy. Cox takes the mark. Oh, no, he hasn't. It's not paid. Holding. Thank you. Jeez, I thought he held it on for long enough. 50. Oh, jeez. <laughs> What's all happening at the MCG? Yeah, I mean, that's got to be part of Mark. Surely. I mean, my call there just then, I thought it would have been a Mark. He held it on long enough. Tommy Cart now inside 50. McLean, your chance. Ball to the deck, Heaney. Got to be clean. Trickles out. Now Hoskin Elliott. Max one forward only as far as Blank. He needs to compose himself. He's just going to launch it long. This could trickle out the back here, maybe for a late flyer. Well, that'll do. 450 stoppage. Tempestana flare now. Oh, this will be nice. Can we get a goal from a forward 50 stoppage? 2.40 to play. Jazzy attacks the footy well. Dacos, good pressure there from McEnany. Go again, son. Good boy. Yeah, last few minutes, Collingwood have done well. They've been able to wrestle back momentum a bit. They're winning the contested possession count and starting to get a bit more time in their forward half. But I think our pressure overall has been still really good. Chancey McLean slaps it forward only as far as Crisp. Josh Dacos now back to Brandon Maynard. Good low kick. Finds Jamie Elliott. Now a long ball down the line. Who's the flies? McCartney in position eight. Good boy. Good chance, AFL tips. I'm bullish on them this year. I think they'll be around that rung to contend, but I've got them just out on my ladder predictions. Low kick. Matty Roberts. No, sorry, that's Blakey. Just launch it long. Can we have a fly here? McLean. Josh the mark almost there. Papley always dangerous in these areas. Grundy goes to the deck. Papley did well, gets it out, gets it out. Come on, where are the ball winners here, lads? Where's the pressure? Goulden, Markov, did well. Dacos now. 
Out to his brother of Josh. Wobbly kick McCartan again in the air. And good stuff. Well done, Tommy. Starting to waste a few more inside 50s now our way. Goey just gets it out. Incorrect disposal. Incorrect disposal against Degoey. Row oh, bottom now short to Blakey. Last few inside 50s our way. Oh, it'd be nice to get a little goal before half time. Minute to play. Well, we need a, we need a golden special here. Who's he going to pick apart? Just going to set it up. Up you get Dossa. Marty, big boy. Big boy. Yeah, he is a big boy. Good boy. You're right. Wind down the clock, son. Jeez, I'm actually starting to sweat a bit. This jumper's designed for winter. Good stuff there, Joel. Nine marks. Inside 50 to two. That's been the big. That's been the big. Uh, the big plus sign, I think, in this quarter. Second term, especially. Oh, he's got to kick that. <sighs> Follow through. He's just no. Yeah, just sat back on it. Needed that goal before the half. Anyway, still three goal margin. We'll take an half time. Good spoil there from McCartney. He's had a great half of football. He's been really good in the air, Tommy McCartan. Loving his loving his, uh, his season so far. Yeah, exactly, Ozzy, mate. You take a three-goal lead in half-time, but... Oh, jeez, the misses we've had. We could be up by more, but... I guess be careful what you wish for in the end. That's holding the ball. Nothing given. Okay, good half. Still good half. I mean, I'll tell you what. Second term was a beauty. What was it in the end? Six goal, five goal to two second term in our favour. I mean, that was the difference there. Really, really good quarter of footy. Um, I think in the air, we've been really good. Amadi, um, Ford, and then McCartan and Melkin defence have been brilliant. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm really content with that still. I mean, we c could be up by more, but yeah, I mean, we'll definitely take the margin at half time. Um, yeah, it's still, I think our midfield has been really instrumental on being able to not only defend, but also just help out in transition. And also um, in the stoppages, we've been great too. I mean, look, James Rowbottom, he's got nine tackles. Nine tackles and 11 touches. He's been outstanding. Chad Warner's is having a great half of football. Two goals for him. Um, 15 touches. Isaac Heaney, 16 disposals. 16 disposals his way. Lewis Mellican and McCartan though, have been fantastic in the air. Um, that's where I think we're why we're winning this game as well. We're much more dominant in the air compared to Collingwood um, at either end of the ground. So, yeah, that's been a big plus sign. Um, who else? I mean, James Jordan's had some okay moments. Nick Blakey's looked good. Uh, McDonald, McDonald's been much better than last week. I mean, he, he's, um, you know, in the air, he's been great. Um, he's attacking contests a lot more. He's obviously got a goal next to his name. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy that half of footy still. Could be up by more, but we'll take a three goal margin for sure. Uh, and then, yeah, from Collingwood's end, well, the Achilles heel for us is definitely Nick Dacos. He's already on 22 touches at half time. He's been uh, everywhere around the ground. Degoe, um with the nine touches, we 
we were able, I think, to contain him really well in the second term. Uh, Maynard's rack up the footy. Mason Cox is much better than last week. Uh, Darcy Cameron's taken some important marks too. Um, who else? I mean, Charlie Dean's had some okay moments, but he's struggled a bit in the air defensively. Yeah, Heaney's been fantastic this half. Um, 16 disposals. Again, he's just looked really clean in the coal face. And he's kicked zero goals too. Like, he really could be having two goals next to his name. So, honestly, he could be having a half for the ages with 16 touches and two, two goals. I think Brody's having a having a great yeah. Brody Brody's been okay. I mean, he, he's slogging along. I think Darcy Cameron and, and Cox are, are giving him a really good a really good challenge. Um, but you know, like as I say again, I like to keep a lid on things. Grundy's game, of course, was great last week, but he's not going to be playing like that every single week. He's going to have performances where he's not as good. But it's still half a footy. I mean, he turned it around in the second half. So hey, I put my hands up. I'm all for a second half um, superb performance once again. For sure. <laughs> um, Pies need to back it up. Second up, pick it, yeah, for sure. George, disappointing. They've been defensively again. They've been they've, they've been disappointing. Um, have been able to be really strong in the air. Their intercept game's been pretty weak too. Um, but they've got a few back. It's only three goals, and with Collingwood with how they play, they can they can definitely kick a few in a row and with a snap of the fingers, especially at the G when they're at home. Needs to turn the night official for Cockles off, says Kane. Oh, I mean, he's been much better than last game for sure. Taking some more, more important marks and getting involved a bit better. Um, all needs to get in the game a bit more. Yeah, he's been quite good. And again, like, it, it's, it hasn't really been too much of a wing game. It's been real, It's been a lot through the corridor. Um, but he had, he, he had a big second term, though. He, he was able to get involved a lot better. Uh, but yeah, really, really good stuff. Um, that that second term, pressure was elite. Forcing, forcing turnovers like this was twenty twenty two, esque from that second term. Just forcing turnovers, making teams pay. Um, I think we've done that really well. Uh, but yeah, collectively the midfield's been good. Um, as I say in the air, like Melikin and McCartan have been great in the back half. We just got to keep on slogging along um, and keep them at bay. Like, that would be awesome. Just can't keep the door open for them to come back because they can be dangerous. Oh, but we really, really would have taken that goal from Amadi. Oh, he's just got to kick that. Like in the last six quarters from James Jordan. You know, his first half was quite, but yeah, he, he's, he's, I think he's... You know, he's sort of like the Lloyd, Campbell, McEnany type, but, you know, he's a bit more of a run-of-the-mill type of mid. Um, but he's just doing the little things nicely. Um, he's getting involved, and I think he's been all right. Um, but let's have a look at the team stats. But Mark's inside 50 for the match, 9-2. to two. That's also been a game-changing thing. Like we, We're bombing it in long, but we've been able to get... Some really good service from the likes of Amani, but plus 11 inside 50s, um, 12 to 9 stoppage clearances. Pies are winning the contest possession count. They started to get a bit better around the footies the second term wore on. Um, 
39 to 27 tackles our way. But yeah, around the footy have been good. The difference has been though in the air and, and, and ball movement for us especially. That's been the game changing stuff for us for sure. Okay, well let's pass the time a little bit. Um, it's still a sporkle quiz. I saw there's um obviously we all know Nathan Brown does the multis the multis um with sports bet there's a I saw there was this account on Twitter um that tracks every single Nathan Brown multi and so far this year he's got none of them right it's it's crazy the the amount he gets wrong he did he did it like the person did it last year too but it's just amazing it's just crazy. Okay, well, um, well, let's do a bit of sport. Well, we'll do we'll do the the daily whirl. You know, mine off the footy for now because my head's spinning. <laughs> okay, now Warport's cool. There we go. Okay, but feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. This has been a a highly hot contest for sure. All right, who's this? Who are we thinking? I'll go Sexton. Stupid sexy Sexton. No, it isn't. Okay, so it's... It's a New South Wales team then. Because... Yellow means bordering Queensland, so it has to only be New South Wales. There's no team in Northern Territory, so... Medium... So it's the same position. So it could be... A, well, it's got to be... It's got to be a key forward from GWS... Or Sydney. So, what are we looking like with the hair? I don't know. Um, we'll just go Max Gretzky. Oh, no, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, what? Oh, wait, hold up. South Australia must be bordering as well then. Okay, so it's Adelaide. Adelaide key forward. Um, in between 19 and 30. Um, I don't know, Gallant. Okay, key forward, Adelaide. Um, who else is there? There's, I mean, Burgess. Burgess? Yeah, could be. I'll go Fogarty. No, it's not Fogarty. Um, no, it's, it's, a, it, he plays for the Crows. No, it's not. It's not Walker. It's under the age of thirty. I think it's got to be. Um... Yeah, Himmelberg. Yep, it's Himmelberg. Good call there, AFL legend. Because I don't think it was Burgess. Because I don't know. It just doesn't look like him. No, it's Elliot, isn't it? And there we go. Beautiful. Good stuff, AFL legend. You beauty. Okay, let's do the other one. There was another website as well. Um, photo. AF... Was it this one? No, that wasn't it. Okay, which one was it again? Wasn't that... AFL World, I think it was... Yeah, okay, it was this one. So it's basically the same thing. Um, except we don't get a silhouette. <laughs> Bloody stitch up. Um, okay, well, we'll just go Callum Mills. Got to start with him. Okay, so it's either Victorian, South Australian or Queensland. That helps. Um, Bobby Hill. Oh, wait, no. White. To Sydney and Collingwood share white as colours, so won't go there. Uh, we'll go... Um, uh, go to, no, red shares with Adelaide. Um... Hawthorne, we got a Hawthorne player. Um, Chad Wingard. Oh, yep, no, he's an old player too. So it's over 26. 
Okay, Victorian, not Hawthorne. He's an old player, so he's over the age of 31. 31 or older. So it's an old player. This one's annoying because it doesn't give like a position. Um, so you just have to sort of... Yeah, it doesn't really help you. Uh, I, I don't think it'd be Collingwood because Sydney and Collingwood both share the same team colours of white. So I don't think it could be Hawthorne. That's just my thought process around it. Um, so Adelaide, Brisbane, I'm going to say Carlton. Um, could be, we'll go Nick Newman. Yeah, this is this is a stitch up. Like, you've, you've got to give us the position. Okay, Guernsey's a low one. Okay, so he's, one, he's 188, the person is 188 centimetres. Don't think it's Heppel because because if you look here, if you go to the rules, it says. I may, wait, hold up, maybe it doesn't. Yellow indicates attribute is yellow indicates attribute is close to match. So like, yeah, I mean we'll, we'll give Heppel a go. If I can click the, is it Heppel? Yeah, Heppel. Yeah, you see what I mean? Because like. Sydney and Edison both share, share the same colours. Okay, so it's a 188 centimetre player. That's what we know from the clues we've given. He's an old player. Okay, so he's he's over 32. And he's a low number. Um, oh, gosh. I mean, we, we've got to nail the team. We've only got two selections left. So, Adelaide, Brisbane, Carlton, Collingwood. Um, Essendon, no. Fremantle, no. Geelong, both share white. Um, Gold Coast GWS, no. Hawthorne, we've went. Melbourne, no. North Melbourne. No, nah, it's not It's not a Hawthorne player. North Melbourne, I mean, it could be. Impey's not a bad shout, but again, it's not Hawthorne. So the thing is, North share white with Sydney, so I don't know if it's them. Port Adelaide. Richmond, I think it could be a Richmond player. We'll go... Is Nick... I'll go Vlosten. Because I don't think he's too tall. Oh, it's not even a Richmond player. Bloody who is it? Dusty. Can't be. Not a Tigers player. Um... Yeah, so we're off the Richmond, St Kilda, Sydney, and Western Bulldogs, but they have red. Yeah, and they have white. I don't know. This, this is, this is bloody. There's not enough clues. It's too. A bit of a stitch up. We'll try. Yeah, we'll, we'll just go Patrick Dangerfield. There's only one left. We're not really going to guess it. Jacks. Yeah, Jacks. I don't get that. North have white, Sydney have white. Like they've got to, they've got to have yellow on the team to show like okay, well this is the close to the colors. Cuz if we would have gone Carlton, it should have been yellow and like okay, so it could be North then. So yeah. Yeah, whoever made this website. Two thumbs down, poor stuff. No, I'm only joking. Um Yeah, that's a that's a bit of a stitch up as well. And hold up, Jack Siebel's retired. <laughs> he doesn't even play anymore. Oh, God. Okay, well, that... I, I'll tell you what, that should probably be on the never again list. Jesus, okay. Um, how long have we got until... Second half. Probably still a little bit. Uh, we'll go through a wall. Uh, a sparkle. Uh, but while we load that up, fellas, I'll be back in a sec. Just gonna, gotta go take a whiz. Um, but yeah, that's still been... Intense game of football for sure. So, yeah, I'll be back quick sec.
Okay, I'm back everybody. Looks like we've just returned in time. Plays back out on the ground. Alright, let's get the second half on the on the way. So yeah, tempers were flaring that first half. It was very high intensity. I thought our pressure was great. We've been good in the air. We've been moving the footy tremendously well. Let's continue to keep them at bay because if we just can't let them trickle back into this game and we we've been inaccurate as well, so it's really gonna hurt us maybe in the long run if we continue to miss chances. But how about this? Heaney's gained 327 metres as a midfielder. Like, he's been really good. Um, I'm moving the footy and helping out in transition. Yeah, no worries, no, mate. I mean, if you're a neutral, you probably still could back in Collingwood from here. Um, but if we continue to really control this game, I think we can get, get the win. I mean, we're up by three goals, so we're just going to continue to maintain the lead. Good day, young lad. Aiden here, I've changed myself. Uh, there's, there's been a few Aidens through the chat, mate, so I don't exactly remember who you are, but it's good to see you back, mate. Hopefully going well. Still saying Sydney, um, but far out there and helping themselves. Yeah, it's been, I mean, that Amati chance late. You've just got to kick that. But I said before the Melbourne game last week, like, if we could somehow start 2-0, it would be a tremendous start to the season with the outs we have. So let's keep on pushing. Premiership quarter. We were good in the third term last week. That was sort of. We conceded five goals straight and we kicked two goals six. <laughs> so we weren't too accurate. Um, but we got on top of the midfield battle in that third term last time. So last week. So let's keep going. Well, second half. Swannies by 18. Five goals, two to seven goals, eight. Run away. Chazzy now, can't get it out. Hey, I'm liking McEnany's game. I think his attack on the footy's been really good. Oh, it's a, oh what the hell? Okay, it looks like it was a free. Oh, nice, Chazzy. Okay, you're doing too much. Oh, I did it twice. Inside 50 he goes. Man, I did well. Keep your feet. Soccer was good there from Cameron. Only as far as Lloyd, though. Still can't believe that blunder Lloyd had. <laughs> Low kick's a poor one. What well I'm from Maynard. <laughs> He's gonna have nightmares with that one, Jake Lloyd. <laughs> oh, just the fumble, the fumbling, bumbling, stumbling, and oh, he falls over. Comedy there is. My check now. Florence got to mark that. And Grundy's given away another free. Well, this is this is what we saw too much of last week. I mean, thanks to his second half, he was huge, but he's given away so many frees. McCreary now, short kick to Goey. Well, now set it up. They need... No, he's going to lower his eyes. Good stuff from Jussie. Back with the flight. That is huge courage, courage from McInerney. Cunningham gets it out. Hits the deck. Papley just couldn't get a finger in. Good tackle there from Grundy. Umpire's ball. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's slogging all right, Grundy, but he's just giving away a lot of frees. He's sort of trying his tactic from last week, though. Um, you know, sort of grabbing the opposition a bit, and he's just conceding freeze but there we go from the stoppage high ball no one up for it probably lack of communication Blakey could have went up for it but Johnson on the lead yeah, he's, yeah lack of com lack of communication I mean this is if he kicks this this will be three goals we've given up or one goal we gave up and two goals we've given up Oh my God. Jesus. Well, come on. Communications, lad. Communication. Not showing it at the moment. McDonald now did well. Papley gives it back to Logues. Gives it back and board. Papley, nice slap. That was clever. Warner now. Now, uh, see, so he likes to do that, chat, but he did okay. Joel flies, hits the deck. Got to be huge here. Heaney over the top. Haywood. Oh, Will. Will. 
It's not basketball. Just grab the pill. <laughs> oh. Bloody hell. Again, we were out there. We've wasted a few of those chances out the back. Darcy Moore now will want to switch it up. Kick set out to Schultz. Good evasion. Able to break free of Goulden's stride. Low kick. Couldn't hit the target. Mel uh, McInerney now. Gets the hands out to Cunningham. He'll go back to Rampy. Back to Cunningham. Now back to Florent. Ah, poor kick. What well on there from my check with the diving spoil. <clears throat> Oh, Jesus Christ. Papley now whacks it forward. Boundary throw in. Just outside our forward 50. Yeah, Dacos has been very good in terms of, from an individual point of view, racking up the football. Ben Collingwood's clean, cleanest player too. Just, just, a, just amazing, amazing his composure. Like here he is again. Hand pass just gets it over the camera now to the goey. Now at the Dacos. Can he keep it in? No, he can't. <clears throat> Completely different sport to to rugby, bonbon. Bon. That's why it's not called rugby. All see long my not happy Jan. Papley now slaps out in the direction of Melican. Got to have numbers here. Cutting him around the corner. Only as far as Pendlebury. Now long down the wing. Oh, Elliot flew there. Just couldn't take the mark. Ah, poor hand pass there. Turnover. Schultz now. Can go to the goal square. Dane Rampey did well. Big stuff there. That's their third behind Collingwood. Fucking third. Oh, yeah. Okay, got the numbers here. Oh, Jesus. Could have been unrealistic attempt. Pendlebury. Let's get this forward. Heaney. Now into space for Goulden. Just punches it. Yeah, I just can't. Yeah, just can't continue to link in the chain. Ball in dispute. Side bottom now. Chips out in the space of Dugowie. Over the top now to my check. Yeah, good contest. So yeah, this one's this game's just been so fumbly now. This this third term. Um, Ball in dispute, back and forth. Oh, what's it a free for? Oh, yeah, I don't even know. Okay, ball hits the deck. Darcy Moore now. Out across to Lipinski. Now Dacos, ball on a string. Back to Moore. Oh, jeez, that's poor. Got to kill him off the turnover here. Oh, for goodness sake. If we stuff this up, run, Justin. Wow, that's an absolute gift. We'll take it. Oh, and it goes up into row two. Massive kick. <laughs> okay, well that's it. That's it. That's an important first goal of the second half for sure. Twenty-three points the margin. Sydney's best so far. Um, row bottom Mahaney for me. It's been very good. But Darcy Moore, that's a terrible kick. <laughs> Bit of kick to kick with Logan McDonald. And oh my god, we didn't we didn't stuff up an easy goal out the back for once. Oh dear. Take note take notes, Jake Lloyd. Nah, no, I love Lloydie. There's the tongue flick from Jazzy. Okay. Let's win this clearance out of the middle. Papley. Looks it forward. 
Who can win this one? Good body work there from Haywood. Can he just get the hand pass? No, he tricks everybody. Probably, yeah, uh, not the greatest target. Still it's the deck, though. Who wins this one? Robbie Fox. Beautiful hand pass out in the space. Goulden now. We need a goal from him. The check side. Errol. Oh. oh, almost. That would have been special. Okay, well, 24 points. Oh. Curse you, physics. Okay, Cameron now back to Maynard. Out across. Finds Lipinski. Lipinski now goes down the line to the next contest. Who can fly? Mason Cox a chance. Okay, we brought it to the ground. Row bottom now. This is where we've been good. We've been able to get free. Warner now. Out to McLean. Hand pass. Ah, oh, geez, some of these hand passes have been sloppy, it must be said. That was terrible from Lipinski. Chad now just gets it out. McLean over the top. Good vision. Goulden now. Lower the eyes. Oh, right foot. As easy as you like. I tell you what, in, in, in congestion, the hand passing both from both sides has been sloppy because both teams' pressure has been good. But I think we've just been able to get the greater good But Lipinski there. That's just poor. And McLean, what vision. Great hand pass from Hados. And come on, Joel, repay yourself with that missed opportunity last time out. Just before the half, he should have converted that, and he missed directly in front. Come on, Joel. No. Okay, another point. Need to really start to put the foot down here. Twenty-five points. Maynard now short to Pendlebury. Pendle's now short to Maynard. Not fifteen. There he goes short. Nick Dakos. We'll just go short to Darcy Moore. Okay, McCree's out here. Can he get to this one? He sure can. That's a better kick from Darcy Moore. And McCree now. Got to go here, Hados. Oh, good mark there from Coxie. Quickly plays on Elliot. Twisting and turning. Good stuff, Rampy. Just gets the hands out. Cox centering ball. Bit of a wobbly one. Florent did well. Jordan now out across to Chad. Oh, good awareness from Warner. Yeah, good stuff. Just, oh, what was that kick? Bloody hell. That's like a... That's like a video game kick almost. It's like, you know... You know like when you play FIFA or something, it's like, oh, they passed to the wrong player. And just passed it... I don't know. I'm just talking shit. But you know what I mean. Maybe. McDonald. Good boy. Wins the height. Fucking duck for that one, let's be honest. As Riyad Mahrez would say, it's part of the game, in it. Unfortunately. For it now, oh, good vision. Out across to Fox. Hey, Fox is having a good game. Just his overall just presence in this game, I'm liking. Pressure's been good. Come on, Grundy. Take a grab. Hits the deck. Where are the winners? Dean. Crisp now. Not Crips, James Brayshaw. Come on, mate. My check, strong mark in the air. Well, Papley's shaking up here a bit. Hopefully just a bit of a corky. Scores are the same, Adam, mate, from my live telecast. Hopefully Papley's all right. Uh, but yeah, no, <laughs> it's from that, uh, I don't even know what it is, it's some meme. Quain on out in the space, just gets it to Darcy Moore. Peels off, plays on, sits it up, Cox is in a spot here. Oh, Florent, just gets it out, what a hand pass. Come on, let's force it the turnover again, McCreary. 
Could be holding the ball, but yeah, didn't have pry. Fair enough. We get it out through Florence. Fly Hados. Okay, protects the drop zone against Markov. Lloyd, nice slap into the direction of McLean. Quainor did well. He hand passes. McLean, beautifully done. He gives it back. Come on, let's punish off the turnover. We've been good in this area. James Jordan now lowers his eyes to the next contest. Kick doesn't favour Juzzy, but he does well. One on one. All out the back here. Just turn. Look, look, look. Fox now. Oh my god, he kicks it straight to Darcy Moore. Jesus Christ. Jack Crisp now. Oh, holding the pill. Will Hayward, Blakey over the top. We're going to get a goal. McDonald at the back, huge off the turnover. Board half pressure. Is 2022 coming back? Oh, wow. Big stuff. Logues has three. I mean, it feels like they've all been cheapies, but it's a reward for effort, certainly from Will Hayward. Massive stuff. The pressure's been elite. Okay, back out to over 30 points. Let's keep in, in this range or possibly a bit more. Wouldn't mind that. They've been really sloppy in their defensive half, but look, they had to crisp, nowhere to go, and Haywood, you know, I tell you what, his physicality and his, his work ethic is always a key part of his game. He did well there, McDonald out the back. We've been out, we've, we've got a lot of these goals out the back, it feels like. Okay, hopefully... Hopefully Papley's okay. Heaney, unable to get a clean disposal. Good and wax one forward. That's only as far as Pendlebury, though. Short kick, Nick Dacos. They need the pill in his hands. He's going to hit the 45 out across to Hoskin Elliott. He's been able to break free now. 31 points to the margin. 8.45 to play. Short kick to Goey. Looking to set it up. Nah, poor kick. Easy stuff for Tom McCartan. Yeah, hopefully does it, mate. <laughs> that would be that would be sweet. Rampy now down the line. Cox. Oh, jeez, he's dropped that. That's terrible. Jazzy now gets it out. Well done. Okay, we can break free here. Heaney over the top. McLean. Low kick, beautiful. Logan McDonald. Nice corridor kick. Jakey Lloyd. Got the 45 on here. James Jordan's all alone. Good use. Okay. Now we've got Dosser deep. He's streaming to the goal square. We go out across to the boy from Wagga Wagga. Harry Cunningham. Campbell on a lead. I'll tell you what. Who's out all alone? We had someone out all alone there. Oh, Logan can fly. Oh, Heaney. Marks inside 50 once again, changing the tail of this game. It's been a huge statistic in our favour. I think that's about 11 to 2 marks inside 50 now. Pushes off crisp. Good and dangerous in these situations, Isaac Heaney, for sure. And we just need him to slot it through. To get his first goal of tonight. Better. <laughs> Fantasy and super coach stonks, baby. What's he on now? I'm, I'm actually interested. Ooh, 79 and 80 super coach. You'll have to see it. Hopefully he continues to lift. Uh, but again... You know, this is what I said in the tipping video. If we can if we can beat them at ball movement and defend well as a back six, this is where we can really beat them. And I mean, wow, look at this margin now. It's really getting out. 37-point margin it is. Ten goals, ten, five goals, three.
Well, <laughs> swans blow the lead. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> anyway, Pendlebury now. Jeez, running too f <laughs> Took about 20 steps. That's Johnson now. Need a goal here, Collingwood. Can we get a replay on that? I want to see that again. Good attack on the footy there from Roberts. Side bottom. That kick there from Mycheck. No good. Campbell. Just beautiful awareness. Uh, kick's not great though. Straight to Jeremy Howe. Howe now goes out across to Charlie Dean. Now the side bottom. Got the numbers here. Cox can fly though. Oh, what's this? Okay, it's deliberate. Off a foot. I thought I thought I, I don't know. I thought that was off someone's knee. Okay, Finn McRae is going to come on. Now, watch Johnson kick this. He'll kick this. He kicked. The you know he's good on the snap and he's good on the check side. Oh, never mind. No, he usually kicks those, but okay. Well, six goal margin it is. Five fifty six to play. Collingwood have been goalless, I'm pretty sure, this third term. McLean in the air, well done. Warner now, let's break free. And across, nice kick, good. And we've got our numbers streaming forward here. Juzzy. Oh, let's continue to link in the chain. Goulden now, over the top, poor hand pass there. We had numbers streaming forward and just kept on hand passing. But Heaney did well and more. Great tackle. I mean, goulden has been slogging on all right, Matty, mate. I think he's playing a key part in this game. He just hasn't been flashy. And, you know, people say he's been shit, but I think he's been okay. It's just been a high-intensity game, really. Rampy now. Uh, ran over the ball there. That's going to be a trip. Penelbrook. No fuss, wants to take advantage. Oh, poor there from Pendles. Beautiful from Chad. Now good, and he can find the goals, Errol, from 55. Oh, what a mark from Logan. You've got to pay that. You've got to pay that. Got to mark that. He had clean hands on that. Clean, clean, clean. Yeah, got to be a mark. Why am I have my hands up in here? I don't know. <laughs> insufficient, in insufficient evidence. That's a mark. Okay. Now, please don't do a Ryan Mansell, Logan. We're in the corner. Snap. Goal. Simple. <sighs> Just don't do a Ryan Mansell. McDonald. Good boy. This game's over 40 points. Wow. Again, this has been a very good third term. It, it, it's, it's still been really sloppy, but I just think our intensity's been much better in transition, and that's where we're getting it done. And four and a half turnover again. We've had a lot of them this game. For McRae's on as the sub. Now, I'm, I'm a bit annoyed because I was... I, I put in Finn McRae for Fantasy and Supercoach. And he's the sub. But can he make a difference? <clears throat> Highly touted young player for sure. We had to bring on Wicks as well. Five minutes to go till three quarter time. McRae, there's his first touch. Nice out of Dacos. Just wax one high to the edge of 50. Fly, Liz. I oh, could have marked that. Bobby Hill now. Another high ball. Have you get Braden? Did well there. Yeah, did well. Out to Florent. Oh, good stuff there from Doss. 
Oh. I thought he did well enough there to sort of null nullify Maynard there a bit, but marking interference it is. Short kick there. Dacos, okay. Do not allow this guy to peel off and boot from 60, please. He's just going to set it up. Lower his eyes. Looks like a good kick. Sport, though, was nice. Jazzy boots it out. Oh, drop there from Dacos. Oh, no. What? Let's see this again. No way. He 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 had his arm here and then Dake oh. <sighs> What does Riyad Mahrez say? It's part of the game in it. <sighs> That's, uh. oh well, well can he kick this goal, on the edge of his range, well football justice plays its part there, he kicks a point, bloody hell, like, turn it up, sorry I'm, I'm getting my nuffy mode a bit on, but you know, it's hard to keep civil in these games. Lakey now. Oh, how about that kick? Matty Roberts. Roberts now down the line. Could fly someone here. Charlie Dean, that's a good mark. There's no go. Now I'll go back out across. Jeremy Howe. Oh, Jesus. Puts Charlie Dean on the pump. Oh, good composure. It kicks not great, though. Roy Bottom now off the turnover. Over the top. Good there to Heaney. Jeez, that's another poor back half turnover from Collingwood. Goulden now. We can overlap here. He wants to cut the angles and set it up. Got numbers here. Moore's in the spot. So is Warner. Hits the deck. Crisp. Goes out now off hands to Quain. Oh, good stuff from Joel. Again, forced error there from Collingwood. Beautiful pressure. Melican now. Settle, kick, beautiful Warner. It's just the turnovers. It's simply the turnovers we are really, really getting on top of. I know it's been poor from Colling, but I still think we're setting up defensively really well. Like that, that miss kick came from the Joel Amati pressure. Really, really good stuff. Come on, Chad. Let's get this going and extend our lead. Oh, <laughs> right down the high diddle little, high, high diddle little, great goal. Just continue to punish off the turnover. It's getting ugly now a wee bit. Chad Warner, good game. You know, I think this was the this was the goal for Warner tonight. His first half was awful against Melbourne, and I think consistent effort for four quarters, he's been good. Look at that! Look at that! Ten goals, five from turnover. Two goals, five for Collingwood. Like that, that's just been the game-changing thing. It's just the pressure. Pressure has been huge for us from us. Poor bounce from the umpire. We'll go again. Minute 44 to three quarter time. Holding free against Grundy. Fifth, five free against. Like, Jesus. Takos now, oh, not a great hand pass to Howe, but a good tackle on Chad. Oh, Rowie, good pressure. Now Hoskin Elliott, got to get rid of it. He does, low kick, could work here for Elliott. Good mark. There we go, they finally get a mark inside 50, Collingwood. Hey, no Super Ollie, if we're going well, mate. Oh yeah, yeah, appreciate the 16K milestone kind words, mate. Well, he needs a goal here for his team. They've been 
A little bit shaky in front of goal, the second and third turn. Jamie Elliott. Looks good. Good kick. Much needed for Collingwood, and they get a goal back. Back to 41. G'day, LT, if we're going well, mate. As a current supporter, as a much like Collingwood losing, one that be demolishes badly. Yeah, I mean, they haven't looked like greatest greatest tonight. Um, and I think we're just really genuinely outplaying them, though, with our pressure. Ball movement's been better. Yeah, 51 seconds, let's just not concede another goal, because we love doing this. Uh, red time goals. It's just in our DNA. But good goal there from Elliot. Finally going to mark inside 50. Dacos now. Wax the clearance forward towards the wing. Oh, jeez, that bounced in favour us very nicely there. Jazzy now under it. Tap out to Dagoe. Good push out there from Heaney. Surely below the knees. Nothing there. Elliot now, wobbly ball. Heaney just too strong. Only as far as side bottom though. Roberts, he did well to get that out. Good contest. Wow. Good effort. Eight seconds. Okay, Roberts said well. Boots it out. I'm sure that's a mark for fantasy. We'll take it. For Grundy. <laughs> okay, wow, what a third term that is. Um, yeah, just turnover gain, ball movement again, good. I only conceded one goal. One goal we conceded from that premiership quarter, so it, our defence has been fantastic. Let's just close this game out. Great third term. There's been a lot of clapping tonight. <laughs> ah, but yeah, really liking this for sure. Nice premiership quarter indeed. Uh, um, g'day, Eric. Are you sure Collingwood and Senate under nine's team to, by mistake tonight? Yeah, I mean, their, their ball movement has been really, really ordinary. But I still think, though, like you've got to credit our pressure. Like, we forced a lot of turnovers. And I think we've just been the better, better side inside 50. So, yeah. Um, it's, it's just been very, very good from our end, though. Well, have you picked the Pies to win by 12 or Swans by 19? Yeah, I mean, I still backed in Collingwood because I thought that'd bounce back. Um, but if you watch the tipping video, I was very, very bullish on this game, on us getting up. And um, for three quarters, we've been playing good footy. Um, hopefully Swans play another high-intensity quarter start to tonight. Yeah, hopefully we can just finish off this game well, mate. But, you know, like, I, I, it is what it is. Like, you get a tip wrong, you get a tip wrong. I mean, if we if the Swans win, I mean, I don't really care too much because we've won the game. <laughs> but yeah, we'll still see, see how this final term this play out. St Kilda and Brisbane play away. Yeah, they could they could be the alarm bells could be ringing if they drop this game. Yeah, no, that we've been Swannies have been looked really good tonight for sure, Eric. Um, let's have a look at the team stats. Um, again, we're just continuing to win inside fifties. Really good in our back half. Uh, plus 10 inside 50s our way. 
and the efficiency is starting to pick up too. Like, what was that? That was a... Oh, my God. <laughs> Euphoria. Four goal to third quarter. It isn't usually like that. It's usually... Well, that one, what? It's usually one goal five. Not a four goal two. It's like that. Oh, yeah. Um, but, yeah, still getting top of the stoppage game. Winning contest possessions. Turnover game and the ball movement's just been the difference, though, for sure. Nick Dacos has been very good with 31 disposals. Heaney's been great with 24. Chatty Warner with 23. I'm happy I eventually picked Heaney, for sure. Um, so Chaddy Warner's got three goals in 23. I think he's having the best on ground performance for sure. He's been electric. Um, Clarence is, Penderbury's got seven. Um, it looks like two grand finals going to start to him. Wells, Freo, beat Prisford. <laughs> Yeah, no, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I'm not trying to, like, laugh at that. For a sec, I, for a sec, I read that wrong, Graz. For a sec, I thought you were talking about Fremantle as a as a, a premier chance this year. It's only, no, I'm only just taking the piss. Um, but, no, I, I generally think, though, seriously, I think Fremantle can win. Um, you know, no Lockie Neal, though, so they could get on top of the midfield. If they just, if Fremantle can just bring the heat, um, I think they can really win because Brisbane struggled to swing back momentum their way. We saw that last week. We've seen that in their losses, so we'll see how they go. I'm still back in Brisbane, though. I, you know, ultimately, I think they're just still a really mature side. Um, you know, they'll dig deep and win, so we'll see. Yeah, exactly right, Ken. We don't want to give chance any chances to the Pies um, in this final term. Shut the game. Try and win this final term. That's going to be definitely the goal uh, from Horsey Longmire. I thought Gordon was going to kick that goal, but McDonald. McDonald's got four. It's been good. I mean, he's got those goals at the back, but I think, you know, just overall his presence has been much better. Like, he started the game well. It was, you know, attacking contests where he didn't do that well last week, so. Okay, come on. Let's just finish this game off well. Up by 41 points. Where are we? Does, yeah, exactly right. Small doesn't feel like he's got four goals. Yeah, look at that. Ten unforced turnovers from Collingwood. So that means, as well, they've been really pouring out of their back half because unforced means no pressure. But yeah. I mean, that's not an unforced error. That's just a good tackle there from Joel. For a bit, Brisbane, Brisbane, not great train last year. They'll be deflated. Yeah, that could definitely be on the cards. Um, but yeah, great third term. Let's finish off this game well. It's the Swans by 41 points. It was 18 at half time. It was, what, a four goal to one? Third term in our favour. Rundy hit out Heaney, whacks it forward. Good clearance early on there to half forward. Darcy Moore read it well. Just whacks it on the shoe for that's going to be deliberate every day of the week. Right, Nick Blakey's ball. Moved up the ground, Paps. They call for it short. <laughs> you all love Papley, he just keeps on calling for it. <laughs> just get forward, you mongrel. Finn McRae, nice hands. Pendlebury, that's better use out to, to Goey. So we're going to turn in Pendles now out to Quainor. Josh Dacos. Oh, kicks a nice one. Finds Elliot on the lead. 
Chance now for Collingwood early on here as they go inside 50 again. Just not a good kick. McCart gets the spoil, but Mindcheck reads it best. Blakey is there. Tackled and goes through for a point. So Jeremy Howe swung forward here. They need just anything, Collingwood. Oops, sorry, I've given a... What in the world? Oh, sorry. Hold on. Okay, stoppage. That's why. Apologies, lads. That's the wrong animation. It's meant to be this one. Okay, let me just fix this. Okay, there we go. Sorry, that was the wrong animation. It's not a goal. Has that, has that been happening the whole game? I haven't even realised. Apologies about that. Oh, so that's why. I remember someone earlier said fix the scoreboard, and I'm like, the scoreboard's fine. It's showing the right points. Apologies about that. I clicked on the wrong file. Still, still showing up points, but like I was playing the wrong animation file to show it as a point. It's a goal. Gordon, short kick. Finds Justin. Short to Paps. Nice stuff. He's got the distance here, Paps. Go for goal. Yeah, well, mate, it's been a great three terms from us so far. Come on, Paps. Ooh, almost. No point back. Go on, I'm flying for the going well, mate. And, uh, yeah. Cheers for the kind words, man. I mean, what can I say? I'm a role model. No, I'm only joking. Maynard now will run out of the 50 and launch it long. Who are the flies here? Jeremy Howe in position eight. Low kick. Nice one, Bobby Hill. Quickly plays on. That looks good. Nice low kick again, Jamie Elliott. Well, I need that. That's better ball. We've, we've rarely seen that from Collingwood tonight. Just their end end ball movements really let them down. So can Elliot convert and get the first here for Collingwood? Or if they're going to come back, they need something. So they need a goal here. Nine touches, five marks, two contest possessions, a goal was named, three score involvements. Going to kick this goal. He's got it. Much needed for Collingwood. Back to 35. Oh, could it be game on? I certainly certainly must say it could still be on, given we love to bloody cough up big leads like last year. So here we go. This is a test. A test of our mental toughness and our ability to just shut out these leads. <clears throat> Have you tried prime, prime hydration? Uh, I don't think I have, no. I've never tried it. I mean, I remember when it first came out, like, you could never buy it, but I think it, I see it at the, at, at the shop sometimes, so. Much need for Collingwood. That's good there from Bobby Hill. He's able to separate from Millican. Yeah, right, uh, I love the effort. Back with a flight attempt. Finn McRae did well there. He gets the clearance. High ball. Can they find a mark here? Ball hits the deck. Roberts. Inslee taken in a tackle from Howe and McCreary. So Joel's been sub. Wicks comes on. That's good. I want to see Wixie out there. Rampy now around the corner. Markov now. Needs to settle. Good low kick finds. Lipinski. Plays on now. Dugowie, he can launch from 50 out. Deep kick. And he's taken the mark. My check. We just had to rush that one through. Just had to bloody rush that through. 
Get it back to 29. Mind check around the corner. Goals. Oh my god, he's missed. Oh. <laughs> oh. There's me pressing the scoreboard button too soon again. Jesus Christ. I do that too often. Chad now, good attack. Now it's on the ball. Did too much. Okay, let me add a point. There we go. Oh, Maynard. Ooh, has he popped out a thumb? I think he's okay. Out across now, side bottom. <clears throat> Markov now. Sits it up. Who are the flies? Needs something from Grundy. He's been poor tonight. I think overall now we can say he's been really disappointing. Nice from Juzzy. Jeez, he's, he's been good at that tonight, McInerney. He's having a great game. Out across now to Warner. Short kick, Papley. Okay, we could be on out the outer side here. We've got numbers. Roberts, short to Gildan. Need some more touches from Matty Roberts. Fielding him on fantasy and super coach. Oh, a kick from Gildan. Nice one. Great kick, James Jordan. Also on field. Jordan now inside 50. Could we find a mark? Holding free. Adam McLean's ball. Take that. Come on, Dossa. He's been quiet tonight. Let's see a goal from him. Jumper old, and there it is. Well, can Dossa kick this goal? Be important to get a goal back here. So just keep the margin at bay. Yeah, beautiful Dossa. Right down the pipe. Back out to over 40. First goal of the night. What's his stats been? Eight touches, two marks, two tackles, and a goal. But yeah, Grundy's been, yeah. I mean, let's be on it. Let's be realistic. It was not going to play like this every week. So, yeah, he's probably been disappointing tonight quite a bit. But uh, big goal. Ada McLean back out to 40 points. Let's hit the ton. Come on. Crisp now read it well. Hands it out to Finn McRae. Back to Crisp. Uh, too many fumbles, but he did well to break a tackle, but he can't break through that row bottom one, so he gives it back to Dacos. Now the running Maynard, low flat kicks, a nice one on the lead of Dugowie. Chipping ball looks good. He's got a fly here. Good spore from Florent. Just couldn't get that half volley there. Um, Finn McRae. Jordan now. Oh, Papley falls over. <laughs> nice. He gets the hands out to Roberts. Out across. He just settles to Haywood. Gordon on the one hand. Oh, exquisite. Straight to Heaney. Could be out here. Over the top. Numbers. Quanquane will make a contest. He can't see me, Wicks. Go back, son. Again, end-to-end -end football. See me, Wicks. Let's slot it through, son. Sneaks it home. The boy from Manly on the board. Beautiful stuff. Good response to the Collingwood early goal. Two in a row now our way.
<clears throat> but this is where it's just been game changing. Just the end-to-end -end ball movement. We've run ring, we've run rings around them really well. Yeah, in the back, Sammy Wicks. Beautiful. You beauty indeed. EKV8 for sure. Make sure to like up the stream and subscribe if you haven't already, fellas. It's been um, a good performance from the Swanee so far. Let's just continue to put the foot down. Pendlebury gets the clearance. Back now to Hoskin Elliott. High ball. Can they get a mark here? Maybe Elliott. Ball hits the deck. Nice from Cameron McRae now, twisting and turning. Oh, and the no-look hand pass is nice. Cameron, not a good um, hand pass there. And Roberts balls it forward. Crisp now. Can he kick this? Yeah, good spoil from Liz. Okay, 45 points. There we go. The behind animation actually working this time. <laughs> good, and now nice low flat kick again. McLean, oh, just that kick. Sensational. And let's remember, we don't have Callum Mills. We don't have Luke Parker, and we don't have Adams. Like we're playing some great footy with those outs and Gordon again. And that's a throw against Hayward. Uh, you can go on the AFL website, TK, mate, and have a look at every play's st statistics. That's the best way to look at it. On your phone as well, if you've got the AFL app. A device or whatever. Pendles now. Too much. Robbie Fox again. Pressure's been great from Fox tonight, eh? Let's give him his flowers. I think he's going to continue his place in the team. He's just He just feels so valuable. Um, just really enjoying his presence. It, it reminds me a bit of Clark, but probably a bit better by disposal. Blakey now. Poor kick down Dacos' throat. Corridor now, risky, Pendles, good from Roberts. Ah, chop the arms, unlucky, Matty. Pendles now, ah, poor corridor kick, straight down Florence throat. Gilden now, on his left shoot. Nice low kick. <coughs> Don't mind jogging something off two games in a row, though. Like, his game was good tonight. But I think we've just got to run the sub. Long kick here. Can we find a mark? McLean almost. Where are the ground level players? Cox. Marks one forward. Gordon competed well. That's a mark. No, nope, not given. We'll just whack it forward out in the space. What a attack on the footy there from Chris, but a tackle from McInerney. Very good. Loving McInerney's game tonight. I mean, just really, everyone tonight has played their part. Um, really well. Yeah, catch you later, uh, Aussie, mate. Oh, good attack there from Juzzy again. Look at that. Just forces a turnover. Heaney. Oh, he's too good. He's too good. I feel for Charlie Dean, the second gamer, but goes to ground, gets up. Uh, he's just he's just a superb athlete, Isaac Heaney. Chance to hit the ton and to make it a 51-point margin. Yeah, he struggled tonight, Dean, and let's be... Look, watching the game last week, he did struggle on Hogan, so... Look, he probably makes way. Isaac Kearney, directly in front. Right down the pipe. And he's having a superb night tonight once again. Oh, performance brilliant tonight. 
And look, I'd love to, you know, I'm, 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 I'm sort of in that mood where I'm not like going absolutely crazy, like, oh my god, we're, we're going to win the flag. I'm just, just, I don't know, I'm just soaking it in. It's been a good performance tonight. And when you settle, you know, not turn into a nuffer, you can appreciate it a bit more. <laughs> uh, thanks for subscribing, Brooke. Appreciate it. I'm hiding behind the thing. I've got to move that alert box. 8.30 on the plate. Oh my god, Grundy's finally got to free his way. <clears throat> Grundy now inside 50. Oh, Cox drops the mark. Again. Oh, I'll tell you what, Aaron, mate. If you're talking about Mason Cox dropping the marks, well, there you go. Absolutely spot on. Told you. Told you so indeed. Papley lowers his eyes. Easy footy. McDonald. Dominance now. Logan for five. Come on, Logs. Yeah, JR, mate. I'll, I'll sleep tonight, mate. For sure. This has been an absolute dream. But it's just been scrappy from Colling as well. That's just a poor turnover. But, you know, I don't want to hear this bloody shite. We've been battering them. Forcing turnovers. Pressure's been good. Um... So, you know, I'm, I'm expecting on SEN to be talk about the loser like it always is with the media. McDonald, nah, I'm lucky. Would have loved the bag of fire from him. But yeah, unsettled defence again from Collingwood this week. It was just like last week too. That's gone out. No, maybe not. Quain on out. Catch the wing. McCrew's got to go. Takes the mark. Yeah, no, it's, a, it's an emphatic victory now. I think it's all over for sure. Seven minutes to go. Chance for my check. Gonna take the mark back with a flight and Grundy. Oh, the no-look hand pass. Roberts now. Get the kick. Beautiful. Plus three points. You'll have to see it, Juzzy. Beautiful. Oh, no. Not paid the mark. Fair enough. Queen on our high ball. You can see the rafters, though. Pies fans starting to leave. I mean, fair enough. Any fan base does it. I'm not trying to take the piss or anything. What the hell was that from Juzzy? Nice tap there from Jordan. Tuck of Chatty. And McCree went tougher. Beautiful. Wixy, good boy. Yeah, good play. Oh, Doyle's, mate. To make the night complete, five gifted memberships. Really appreciate the support, mate. Um, really, really generous. I, I really, really, really appreciate it, man. Thanks very much. Um, awesome. So, LT, Hip Noise, JR, Cavi. There you go, you lucky, you lucky, you lucky ducks. You can now enjoy the privileges. Spamming Tom Papley emojis in the chat. I've still got a buddy one, I think, in the in the emojis. So I've got to probably update them, to be honest. It's lazy for me. Oh, Lord, just got to mark that. Oh, what an emphatic victory this is, though. Really, really sensational stuff. Ball movement, turnover game. That, that's the two things that's changed the game. We've lowered, we've lowered our eyes much better inside 50. Again, we've looked rock solid as a back six. Men racking up the tackles. Beautiful hands again. Gordon now. And across to Tommy McCartan. MCG so quiet. Christ, I think a funeral's about to break out now. Ah, but Owen too. This is gonna this is gonna be dominating the papers for sure. Owen two Collingwood. Um alarm bells surely has to start ringing now. Like Yeah, you could treat it to slow start the season, but this is not how Collingwood Collingwood start seasons. Um, the last two years, they've had emphatic and really, really good starts to the season. They, I mean, they beat St Kilda in 2022. They had a great win over Geelong round one. It's just, they've just been very flat. As complacency kicked in, I mean, who, who are their injuries as well? I mean, 
I think just overall, really, the lack of Damien Day, Damien Day, the lack of Damien Day is massively hurting them too. Five minutes to go. My check now. Peels off, plays on, lowers the eyes. That's a good kick, possibly, but McCartan's there. He's had a good night tonight, Tommy McCartan. McCartan and Melican, really, really good. Sydney Chance rocking the G. You'll have to see it. Matty Roberts instantly tackled from my check. Whew, Isaac Keeney, 123 fantasy, 132 super coach. He has arrived. That's a 28 year old, about time. I mean, he made the All Australian two years ago, of course. Good pressure there from Chad. It's been the game-changing thing, though. The pressure's been fantastic. Again, really uncharacteristic, very uncharacteristic stuff from Collingwood. Ball, ball skills have been sloppy. Unforced turnovers, like we said earlier. Dacos now. Snap around the corner. This could be home. Not spool from Tommy Mack. Fire it now to Cunners. And now he'll go short to Jake Lloyd. Yeah, that's always the downside with finalists. Like, that was us in 2022 in Plumbing Plus. You make a valid point. I mean, you know, we had about 25 fit players before the start of the season. And we had a very delayed start after our grand final and the mental demons and all that. Um, it was a struggle for us early season. I mean, to be honest, we started the season actually really well. We started 2-0, and but they were soft opponents. But I know, I know what you mean. That's going to be in the back. Okay, no chance for Josh Dacos to get one back. Going to be interesting, though, the noise around this game. Jeez, I tell you what, though. Twitter's going to be in flames tonight. Yeah, in the back there. Fair enough. Stonewall in the back. Okay, now can Josh Jankos get a bit of junk here? He plays on, he peels off, he kicks, and sneaks it home. Eight goals, nine, 57, 15 goals, 12, 102. Still the Swans by 45. Brilliant tonight, as I've said about 50 times already. So much to like tonight. So much to like. Eight girls, nine, 57. 15 girls, 12, 102, 337 to play. McRae now. Gets a hand pass out. Josh Dacos to Goey. Instantly pressured from Robbie Fox. And they get a high free. But you know, we give away a free there, but that's just what it's been like, why we've been so good tonight. Just that manic pressure. Markov now, not a good kick. Round of throwing. Great game to see Swans proof down as wrong once again. Swans real deal. Yeah, it was. It, it, yeah, look, I'll, I'll be honest. Um, it was interesting to to hear people having us miss finals. Um, look, they, everyone has their their valid points, and you have to be transparent that really any team can miss the eight. So I'm I was I'm open to that. And look, we still could miss finals. <laughs> it's it's only round one still. But what I mean is just like when I heard people say. You know, our defence isn't good enough. Our forward line is questionable. I mean, I just instantly disagree. Last year, we were a top six defence for allowing goals per inside 50. So we were up there for defence. I think we defend really well as a back six, and we've done that well tonight. I mean, in, in terms of our forward line, last year we tied with Brisbane Lions for the most amount of plays that kicked over 20 goals. If it's not one person that gets you, it's someone else that does. Like, that's always been um, 
sort of like how a forward line works. Like tonight, it's been Logan with five. He's not going to kick five every week. Although, breakout season, I'd love to see him kick five every week. But, you know, Papley, he's been sort of quite... He obviously kicked that goal early on in the important second term. Matty Rob Spingle tonight. Short the Lloyd. And we've... The monkey's off the back as well, I need to say. The monkey is off the back. Finally, we've won at the G for the first time since... Well, yeah, the last time we won at the G was... Um, yeah. Oh, wait, what am I saying? Last time we won at the G was actually when? It's actually been... Oh, yeah, no, sorry. The qualifying finals. I was thinking earlier than that. But, yeah, we had... A, you know, we, we struggled really ever since that grand final at this venue and we've come out and had an emphatic result. Been hungry at the footy, though, as well. That's been a key thing. For McCray now, we'll centre the ball. That's a great kick. Darcy Cameron, beautiful stuff. Well, you can have a shot at goal here. Horse is not happy. And so so, so he should because I tell you what, um, you know, he, he hates giving up these, these, late, these late junk time goals and late surges from teams. And Cameron converts. Come back so long, yeah, it is. Um, 89 seconds. I uh, apologize about that, lads. I'm just uh, texting someone. Oh, that's a good kick from Finn McRae. Bit of late junk there. I swear Darcy Cameron always kicks the goals against us. He's done that the past few times. Turns into a tiny locket against us. Peace off. Oh, jeez, Mason Cox, what are you doing, son? Trying to boot McLean's poor fingers. Bloody hell. Adam McLean out across now. Ah, but as always, respect to the opposition. If there's any Collingwood fans in the chat, look, I won't I won't be a, a prick or anything and point at laugh. You're still the reigning premiers for goodness sake. I'd still be la I'd still be lapping that up, of course. Um, but yeah, the alarm bills has to be ringing. I mean this has just been very, very uncharacteristic. Dawson now. Chance for a late one. Gould and can he get on the score sheet? He gets it out. Heaney for another junk time goal, maybe. Uh, Wicks gets it out. Ah, he threw it. Unlucky. Well, for the punters market, we won't be winning by over 40 then. Oh, yeah, right, oh, Brett. Just, just turn it down a bit. <laughs> Brett Roseby. You're a wanker. You're a wanker. <laughs> I don't know if anyone watched the um, Adelaide game last year. I, I, I chanted that. <laughs> oh, dear. That's the first 50-minute penalty tonight. Oh, another poor kick. Could we go end-to-end -end here? Jordan. Goulden. Back to Jordan. Over the top to Wilbur. Pressured here. Josh Dacos. And Lipinski. Now to Bobby Hill. Clean skills, Maynard. Low kick. All alone, Lockie Schultz. Well, we'll be disappointed how we've ended this game. But still an emphatic victory by the Sydney Swans. What a win. Job done. We've absolutely carved them up with pressure and ball movement. What a win. And does Lockie Schultz get a bit of junk? Kicks on its way. And nails it. Well, 33 points in the end, but really it should have been about a 10-goal margin. This was a fantastic performance in the end. Wow. Statement made. 15 goals, 12, 102. 10 goals, 9, 69. 33-point winners. 
that will get better than that for you, Friday Night Footy. A Swans Masterclass one is, again, okay, I'm just taking a piece, but no, nah, brilliant. Um, composed in defence, midfield battle, I think we were able to get on top of well. We just had such a great collective effort from Warner, Robottom. Defensive intent was great too. I mean, how we're able to just really beat Collingwood in their own game of getting those, getting that transition going through the corridor. Like, it was sloppy, but we were able to, yeah, force turnovers. Um, and, yeah, much better going inside 50. And won that count in the end as well. What a win. 10 goals, 9. 15 goals, 12. This is a much different season we're seeing, though, than last year for sure. Um, yeah, just, just really, really professional sort of win in the way. Like, we just composed. We were, we were neat. Um, we didn't panic. Um, and, you know, we started the game off disappointingly, obviously. Um, but I knew we would, we would eventually goals would start to tick because we controlled the game early on. And there you go. We win. I really should have been over 40 points with two late goals. So Horse won't be happy with that. He's going to belt the plays for that. I, you just know he'll do that. Um, but, yeah, let's have a look at the team stats. So my best on the ground easily is Isaac Heaney. Um, 19 disposals, no, 29 disposals, 7 marks, 2 goals. Chad Warner would be up there too. He was a star tonight. 27 touches, 3 goals for him. So much to like. I mean, every player played their part tonight. McCartan and Millican started off the game and ended off the game brilliantly. Um, you know, the Smalls got to work. Plus 4 inside 50. So we gave up a bit of late junk there. That's some something to work on. Because if that game was under 2 goals, we could have lost that. Um... Minus eight contest possessions. One of the stoppage clearances. Um, but yeah, Nick Dacos again racking up the football. 37 disposals for him. Seven clearances. A goal for him. Errol Goulden with 30. Heaney, 29 and 2. Chaddy Warner loved as well. Scotty Penelry racked up the footy much better than an output last week. Um... Sorry about that. Just thing I froze. Um, Logan McDonald. I mean, four goals, two, eight marks for him. So he really got busy. I loved his game. Two goal assists for Goulden. 38. You know, what, what, where, where's the people going saying, oh, he's been, he's been shit so far? I thought his first half was actually quite decent. Like, his second term was good. But he really um, started to rack it up more. 30 touches, eight marks. Just trust the process with Errol. I mean, he still had 30 disposals, and he felt like he was quieter, but no, he was, he was very, very good. Um, Tommy McCartan, sensational tonight. Um, yeah, really good in the air and intercepting. Grundy, getting the interview, a little bit disappointing from him. Um, I thought Cameron and, and, and Cox did quite well against him. Score involvements, 11 to McDonald, Goulden, and Warner. Like, that's, that's fantastic. Nine intercept possessions for Florent. He was brilliant as well. I tell you what, this is going to be hard to like... I think for the best and fairest, this is going to be so hard to, to differentiate. Because so many plays played their part. Like, Florent had some really nice intercepts tonight. McCart was good too. Um, Justin McInerney was brilliant. Like, the, just everyone played their part. Um, we talk about every player. Um, it, was, it was a great, great effort. So, what a win. What a win. We've beaten the Pies in their own backyard. The monkey's off the back, you know. We struggled ever since that grand final day at the MCG. And we've finally gotten a win there again. Emphatic result. Pressure. Ball movement elite. Um, and what a victory. 33 points in the end. It was a joy to watch. Absolutely love it. Cheers for tuning in, everybody. Um, good stream tonight. Um, yeah, feel free to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, I'm going to be streaming Geelong and St. Kilda tomorrow night. Oh, I think that's a sneaky good game. I'm keen to see what the Saints do um, provide because I just look at the Geelong best 22 and it looks pretty strong. I still think they're going to have a good year. So, yeah, take care, everybody. Have a good rest of your Friday. Um, look, if there's any pie supporters, I mean, yeah, not your best tonight. Um, I think you just got outplayed by a uh, side, a better team tonight. That's simple as that. Um, but I think they'll bounce back for sure. But, yeah, no, great win. Any 20s fans as well, soak it up. That is a fantastic victory. I said before the Melbourne game, if we somehow start 2-0, I think we are genuine chances now. 
<laughs> to, we, getting carried away. But you know what I mean. Like we've beaten Collingwood and Melbourne with the outs we've had. Like this is a this is a very promising start. Strong opposition to kick off the year. Um, this I just felt if we were able to go two and zero, we'd have an emphatic start to the season. We're able to get a bit of a jump on the comp. So now we're looking with health, looking like we're boasting some healthy percentage too. So. This is our chance to really um, get going because we don't have a buy to round five. So let's keep on stringing these performances together. Uh, but cheers for tuning in, everybody. Um, yeah, no better way to spend a Friday night like that for sure. Friday night. Oh, what's the song? Thursday, I don't care about you. It's Friday. I'm in love. Okay, enough karaoke from me. I shall hit the hay uh, and end this stream. But cheers for tuning in, everybody. I'm just... Yapping on now. Um, see you later.